Today, I was joined by my friend Kiyoshi Ho, and we were tasked to survive in a world infested with spiders. But not just any spiders. These guys were mutant, they had different powers, and they were ugly. Not to mention, something about this world was off. Due to a rift in reality, or something, I don't know, sue me, the entire world was put into some kind of cosmic blender and turned into these floating islands. So now we had to survive all these spiders and not get yeeted into the abyss. This is 24 hours in spider infested floating islands. And if you do go on to enjoy, don't forget to drop a like, 20,000, and we might revisit this world because there's still so much more to do. Anyways, let the show begin. What the f kind of chest is that? Wait, what? Yeah, I spawned in next to that guy. Uh, and he immediately uh, killed me. But wait, if we whoa. kill him, he drops a relic. Oh, God. He, he does. He oh, does God, hurt. he hurts. I think I hit you, actually. Uh, you have uh, spider friends, too. They're. Oh, no. No thanks. No thanks. Fine. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Let me help. I'm going to die. <laughs> I am so dead. I don't want him to fall oh, off no. the edge. I want his loot. No, no, uh, no, he's no, 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 no. Oh, man. I wanted his loot. <laughs> Oh, he man. jumped at me, okay? I could not do anything. There's chest down there. Really? Where? Let me see. Oh. You are just natural selection. <laughs> You're Oh god, wait, no, 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 wait, I have I have stuff from inventory now. No, 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 no. Okay, let me help. I got I'm gonna, put this, I'm gonna put this stuff back in there because I'm gonna die actually. I'm just gonna casually step back here and just get wood. Nope, me, so nope, spiders don't want me to get wood. They are really on you. Yeah, um... Wait, why did they have so much health? They don't have that much health. Ow. I didn't do hardcore for this on purpose, because I knew, as a fact, there was... How do I get this tree? I literally can't break the tree. Um, I'm just... I knew as a oh, fact I can climb that trees? Wait, what? They, they're spiders. They climb. Oh, wait, the spiders aren't attacking me. I can finally oh, get some no, wood. No, they're after me! Buzz off, buzz off, buzz off! Natural no, selection. I'm dead. Natural selection. <laughs> No, no acorn. spider. No spider, acorn. don't. Please, let me break the let me break the tree. I want some wood. Oh god. Oh god, it's wait, why is it falling over? Wait, what? I knocked it down. I, I chopped the tree down. Oh, oh wait. Oh, okay, I did get wood. Okay. Oh we got an acorn. This <laughs> spider's yes, just wait, like no, you more no. than me. No. You would not last a minute. Ooh. Oh. We're gonna make some pickaxes. Alright, we're gonna make a shovel. Oh. Okay, something big has found me. You know what? Okay, it's one spider's down. Here, have a wooden sword. I have half a oh, heart, so I don't even care. You guys drop... Natural selection. We need stone so we can make pickaxes. We can get some iron. I saw some iron nearby. We need to get strong. My biggest fear in this world, though, is losing mm -hmm. resources from falling off a cliff. Alright, I have a gift for you. My gift is... Mm -hmm. Stone Hi. sword. Oh, hell yeah. Um... I only have an acorn. I don't want your acorn. Okay, fine then. It's my acorn then. Should we by any chance visit that uh stone structure right next to us? Oh, uh, there's some good chests over there, but like there's also spiders nearby. I mean I mean the chances of you using me as a meat shield are high, so I can take the damage. You act like I'm a horrible person. You act like I don't want to die. Is it almost nighttime? Oh. Is it? So at nighttime, spiders get a little more quirky and relatable, let's just say. What do you mean by relatable? You know how spiders, like, get more aggressive at night, like, when they attack, like, their aggros? Yeah. Yeah, that that's a thing. I want to get down to those chests before nighttime. I want Ooh, that TNT. I want that TNT. I'll be right back. We already have a bunch of TNT, but I'm saving it for something important. So down here, we got, like, we got some furnaces. Yellow we furnace. got some chesty boys. I'm hoping to not get jumped by anything. Okay, there's... Is that a cave spider? Oh, it is a cave spider. Uh. Oh, I don't like cave spiders. Um, let's see if there's any food. Oh, yo, there's a golden apple in here. Golden and apple? Wait, obsidian skull. The wearer becomes temporarily Sorry, immune cool. to fire damage when hurt by fire. Okay, I'm putting that on. It's getting um, really dark in here. I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, the spiders can't open doors, right? No. Okay, we're good. Okay, we got, we got four iron in these. We got 37 torches. We don't have any food, really. I mean, I got one piece of bread. I got two glowberries. Oh, thanks. Those are so useless. <laughs> wait, wait, big brain, big brain. There we go. We're gonna make beds. Oh, it gets a lot more scary when you go in here. Oh, there's torches and iron. What's that wishing sound? 
Um. Samsung. Whoa! What killed me? It did so much damage. Is that a leprechaun hat? Yo, mine. Don't take my leprechaun hat. Did you take my uh, leprechaun hat? Did you take all my stuff? Listen, I have it right here, okay? Um, Why? It was just on the ground. Okay, uh, let me give you your stuff back. Gif. Gif. Shovels. Gif. 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 The leprechaun hat is what I was going to show you. It gives us extra <laughs> level of looting when killing enemies. It's very oh, useful wait, against spiders, as in like, oh. Hey, oh, yo. who's this guy? Neat. All right, so I got eight iron now. And we got we got some more stuff we can actually loot in here. This is going to be fun. A lot of the stuff I didn't get a chance to loot during the regular spider apocalypse. Also, nice cheeky one. You stole my got my golden apple. Wait, you seriously? Oh, shoot. Yeah, there you go. And you have my torches. But I did find a notch apple. There's a surprising lack of spiders right now, and I'm I'm not digging it. As I say that, I run into three long leg boys. Oh, they still hurt. Oh, they hurt. Oh, they have so much health. All right, I'm coming over. Give me a sec. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. I'm leaving. They're only fixated on you. Seriously? I'm I'm killing them. I'm hitting them. Okay. Come on. Fight me. Wait, why are they only fixated on me? What is... <laughs> I, I know my gamer meat is juicy, but it's not that good. I found a lot of resources over here before I was jumped okay. by spiders. Oh, um, did you by chance put coal inside the furnaces? No. I did just find coal, though. Okay, because, like, there's 18 coal inside one of the furnaces. Ooh, that's juicy. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little safety hole over here. Where I just okay. have... I mean, it doesn't... <laughs> spiders just climb Yo. through it, so they don't really care. But I'm gonna I make some fern eye. Okay, I got 16 raw iron cooking, and then we got... I've got five iron already. Spiders will not, they're not gonna like let up on us. So we need to be mm -hmm. as prepared as possible. I, okay. the big brain gamer I am, I'm gonna make a helmet. This is like called Monsterium or something. There's mm -hmm. another green type of resource we can get that's called uh, Uranium. Makes no sense, <gasps> but it actually is, it's better than diamond. Wait, 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 I can make bombs? Oh, 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 me oh watch out me to your left. Watch out to your left. Leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> While you distract the spiders, I will make full iron for myself and survive. They shoot arrows? Some of them can. <laughs> you sound like you're having a good time over there. <laughs> hey, oh, well, no. guess what? No, guess no, what? No, I got no, full no, iron, no, friend. No, I got full no. iron. Hey. <laughs> Get back. Get back I here. will bring you a shield. This is probably a pain, bad time to pain, ask you, pain. but do you see my waypoint? Uh... I don't think so. I'm just a little bit scared so, because there's a bunch of goddamn- I know you're struggling. Right, I know- okay, yes. I know things are not going well for you. But I just want to tell you. I got these really pretty blocks. <laughs> They're called Corundum. They're pretty Baby, nice. Just help me. <laughs> oh god, wait, I found spiders. Come on, spider, I got a shield now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Ow. Oh, 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 no, no, I was kidding. I was kidding. It was a prank. It was a prank. It was a prank. I was a, oh, no. I, I'm pretty confident half of my, there is a legendary spider. Wait, what? There's there is a legendary things? spider camping us at spawn. Oh. Yeah, um. Okay, um, I'm pretty confident half my stuff fell off of the side of the planet, so that's great. I had full iron. Oh. You should probably start just sticking near- Oh my god, okay, wow, that's- This is going well. This is going great. I found some rubies, which are really good. Oh, oh that spider's pushed the other one to its death, cool. Nice. Nice, um- I'm actually stuck here. I don't really have many options of places to go. Spiders I mean, I'm probably gonna die, but I can make that water jump. The spiders are gonna kill me anyways. I can't get my stuff back over there. It's it's just stuck there. Okay, give me a sec. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're supposed uh, to run. Oh, my stuff, my stuff. Oh. Why would you do that? So for pretty much the rest of this first hour, we, we just kept dying. Things were, things were not going well. Left and right, we just kept getting ambushed by spiders. And I... I was on a desperate mission to get back my resources from the side of the mountain before they despawned. I gotta get my stuff back, man. I gotta get over there. I'm just gonna keep rushing it. I'm gonna keep rushing it. I don't care. Spiders? Whoa, yeah. that's a lot of spiders! Okay! Hey, guys, how is it going, man? Wow. Downgrade lunging. Oh. 
No, 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 now my stuff is gone! No! So it was only the second hour and I had lost everything. I was back to being a poor, humble Minecraft loser trying to exist in this awful world with my friend over here. Hi, friend. Hi, oh shit. Who wants to demonetize me and I think also just died. But yeah, it, things are not going well. Things were not going the best here. But I still had a plan because I had left a bunch of iron inside of the furnace. All right, we're going to go get that. We're going to get that iron. There is more iron around that we could potentially get if I could actually escape the spiders. I see a lot of D's on the map. Is that supposed to be normal? Those are death points. Oh, I have a lot. Lamau, imagine getting killed by spider. Oh, it's a spider. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe we should just stick to the surface. I'm going to 360 no scope my way to the oblivion. Okay, let's go over towards the big stone structure because there is a camp over there. There's so much iron around, but we don't need it. We're going to go up here. Is that a village? Oh, come come towards where I'm going. I, I may have found... Yes, I definitely found the way we need to be going. Oh, there's a door here. Ha, nerd. Okay, I got eight wool. I got a new so iron please, helmet. Please let me in. Please. There's a spider outside. Uh, there's so many spiders out here. Please, okay, uh, I got a brown bed. In. I got a brown bed. Um, These spiders really hate you. They aren't even attacking me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, no! I'm, I'm oh, no! Oh, no! I let him in! I let him in! Oh. Ooh, wait, oh, no. we have a waystone. We have a waystone. So this is oh, actually like the... We have sp we have villagers! <gasps> and we have food. This is the foundation that we need. Uh, Let's go inside this. This building probably has good loot. And it's really nice looking. Hey, guys. We got honeycomb, baked potatoes. We got raw cod. Emerald, three buckets of milk. I will make a water bucket. You should come in here and get a water bucket. Try no, I'm, take, I'm just chilling uh, outside. Try to take anything you don't need on you, though, because um, that has gone well so far. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, I don't need lapis on me. I'll put that back. Let's just say I made a friend. Where are you? Come here, spider. Come here. What can you do? You sussy baka. Oh my god, I realized that there's so much wood here. I can break it down. I don't know why, but when you said I could break it down, I just imagined you standing on top of a tree twerking. I mean, if you want me to do that, I'll do it right now. Wait, I, my urge to grave rob is strong. Ooh, five leather. Oh, we can make a backpack. Is this mod called the backpack? Like, travelers... Oh, jeez, there's a poison spider over here. Uh, wait, do you have a bed near you? I should reset my spawn. Okay, Bubbles, reset like, my spawn to this white bed. Poison. It looks like there's something very poisonous outside. Oh my god, there's a crafting bench. Yeah, there's a special poison spider out there. His name is Gerald. He's not that cool. We need iron. We need to focus on getting iron. And we need to focus on not falling off and dying. I'm okay, really I'm getting... scared that we're going to keep falling off and dying and losing a lot of expensive resources. So, so I think cool. one of our big goal... Like, our big goals to have is we want to go to the end so we could be just more decked out. Please don't tell me there's spiders in the end. Oh, yes, there are. We have actual livestock. But inside the yeah. village? They're already penned up, too. We've got two cows and two pigs. Oh, that's perfect. How are we supposed to get access to them when there's a bunch of spiders? I suggest we sleep. Find a bed and sleep before the monsters stop you. Sleep. Okay. So, we're going to get iron today. That's what we need to do. I had full iron. I legit had full iron. Luckily, spiders do not target uh, villagers, and there are no zombies in this world. So, nice. we actually don't have to worry about the villagers even dying. We're going to collect some wood so we can actually get some tools and stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, I've been just breaking down this house the whole entire time, so um, it's a little bit barren don't right now. Don't cut down the house. Why not? Because it's a pretty house. What do you mean? We could even Wait, make we this so into like a thing for villagers. A oh. house, a residence, not a prison to be specific. Oh, you made one of these. We, I, I could dig down and mine the- Oh! Hi. Gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Here's your axe. I did not axe for this. I'm gonna get some trees, try to like scope out the area, try to find me some iron. We need to both get full iron and not fall off a cliff. That is the goal here. That's the first goal we're gonna have. I'm ready to try my best. We were getting too ambitious early off and that's that's why we lost everything. Wait, why is there a skilled spider? I, that, I, Ooh, enchanted uh, book. Where is he? Where is he? What, what power right does here? he have? What does he have? Adaptable. Easy. I'm gonna make an abacus just because they're cool. Wait, are you giving it to me? You don't get no abacus. These guys hurt. You gotta be careful with these guys. 
We need to get weapons of more reach. They they hurt up close, man. Is there by chance any guns inside here? No. Ooh, okay, more iron. Fire's dead. We're good. Okay, you're dead. Okay, um... No, please don't. Here. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. How do you... How are you... I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, oh! <laughs> the katana is a short, like, range weapon, I think. You hit, like, a lot less distance. You have no range with mm -hmm. it. And long leg spiders have a lot of, like, oh. range. I think I see what you... Oh, they're camping. Gee. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Be the natural selection you wish to see in the world. See, we don't really have much of an underground to, like, mine in consistently. Because we're in the floating islands, so we're gonna have to just make do with what we have. I think down there, there's a paralyzing spider and a bunch of others. I think down there is a waste. It's it's a lost cause. I'm gonna get copper, because I think copper armor is also a thing we can currently make. Copper would work. It's just useless, right? There's this really cool thing with copper when when you mine it and like you freshly uncover some, it's mm -hmm. oh, that's death. It's green because it hasn't oxidized yet. Kinda cool. And also, I see another mine shaft um right under us actually. Okay, we he have this area down there. That's oh, oh, almost just died. I almost just ran. My character ran for no reason. This iron golem over here is about to get killed by a special spider. He's half dead. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait. Scarf of invisibility. This actually works perfectly right now because I have no armor. Do you see me? I'm just invisible. Yeah, I'm just invisible. I see your scarf. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Oh, <gasps> they don't see me. Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is actually broken. I could use this to get iron. So at this point, things were not going that well. Previously, we had lost all of our loot by falling off the edge of the world because the spiders would not give up on their descent into destroying us. But then, things... things turned around. I found this cloak of invisibility, which normally would not be very useful wearing full armor, but because I had no armor, this was secretly a god tier play. Now that I had the power of invisibility on my side, I could go down into all the places that were previously unaccessible to mine out as many resources as I could get. Things were already starting to go up from here. Oh, okay, no. If I attack them, they see me. That's uh. the thing. But this is still perfect. I'm actually gonna put the helmet back on. I feel safer with that on and I look cooler. Okay, I'm gonna make my way. Do you wanna sleep first? So you can make it nighttime or daytime? Yeah, I'm down for that. And let's sleep, and then I am going to go big brain all of the iron out of that place down there. I can't sleep until the spider goes away. Where'd he go? Dude, they still do so much damage to me. The the long leg spiders hurt so much more than they should. I'm pushing the iron golem inside the cave right now. Um, Why are you doing that? Because it's killing the spiders inside the cave. All right, no, I'm just gonna walk in, in here. In. I'm just no. gonna walk in here and take iron. You enjoy struggling to get these resources. I'm just gonna casually, do do do. I don't exist. Oh, when you push against them, you exist. When you push against them, you exist. No, why'd Wait. you place water? Wait, whoa. Oh man, I I need full health. You gotta take the water away. He's not gonna go in if you get this water. Okay, only the spiders I bump or attack notice me, though. Not all spiders in the area. Also, I think this cave is full of marble. Ooh, there is... I don't even know if I want to be near him. Wounding fat spider. Ah. Uh, okay. Wounding fat spider? Yep. There we go. This little cave is cleared out. Beautiful. Nice. I came out of here with 10 more iron. Um, we're just gonna stockpile... Oh, Oh. Uh, magnetic spider. Yeah, he up, sucks you in. Above. Let's go. What's the uh, what's the book he dropped? Crosswalker two. What does it do? Turns water beneath player into ice. I'm gonna go down here, back to where the the traumatic experience happened. All right. Oh, dude, there's I'm, so many spiders down here. I don't know if I should be down here. This is really this is not okay, man. This is actually scaring me. Have you ever filled in a 
ocean monument and like or at least been in an ocean monument and like use uh, a potion of invisibility with no armor on like near the guardians they don't hurt you that's what this is like and actually in my og hardcore world that is how i almost lost it legitimately the first time and not from computer files killing me so things were looking pretty bleak after the first hour but now that i had the power of invisibility on my side things were quickly ramping up and we were getting ready to exist in this world using invisibility i spent the rest of this hour just wandering around caves picking off iron as i pleased with no spiders interfering and while i was down here gathering iron my friend was on the surface gathering different types of food gathering trees and other resources that we could use to really step up the security in our base because as the days go on in this world the spiders are only going to get worse i found enough uranium to make a uranium sword oh. so uranium swords are really good like they work with uh, the Spartan mod, so you can have like a Spartan enchantment that makes it do more damage if you have mm -hmm. a sword. Oh, there's an iron golem over here. He's smacking a spider. Yeah, he's fine. So uh, over here, there's like another mine shaft down here before this massive, immense pull of lava over the abyss. So that's cool. It's a little bit hard that I don't know where you are. Okay. Probably for the best. It's not a very Daijobu area. All right, I got three iron. We're gonna take this bad boy, waste it on another pickaxe that hopefully will not end up in the abyss. And we yeah, got that... one uranium oh. and two uranium. Let's go, dude. Get this spider out of here. Get this spider see out of my face. Ew, why'd I say that? I'm so scared. This is like everyone. Okay, no, I can't. I'm, I'm getting, this is making me severely anxious right now. Like I'm like scooching my way between different spiders. Mm. It's like, did you ever play Telltale's The Walking Dead? Yeah. It's like the scene with, with like Clementine crossing the street of zombies. Okay, the oh. Iron Golem fell down here and he's slowly getting beat to submission. <laughs> he's gonna die. He's 100% gonna die. I'm just watching it. I'm gonna take the iron when he's done. I'm sorry. O7's in the chat. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I have the iron. Can you guys stop camping the iron, please? All right. I ended up with a solid 26 raw iron plus additional nine ingots. So that's, I mean, between this and what I have at home, that should be enough to on. Oh, that is a elite spider. No, thank you. Oh, my God. I see a bee. We could get honey. Wait, what? Wouldn't be that useful, but we could get it. Okay. So I am smelting 44 iron. Yeah, I'm gonna need to prepare even more now. Um, right. I'm also gonna cook this copper. I mean, God, co copper, am I right? Who needs copper? And I'm gonna cook my two uranium ore. Okay, let's sleep. Can you sleep? Yeah, I can. Those spiders are aggroing on me, so I could sleep freely, boy. Let's go. Lucky you. I had to sleep underground again. So I'm gonna go back to our spawn area, and I'm gonna collect all mm -hmm. the stuff that we left behind in the chests and stuff, because... I could actually go and get it now. So first, I'm going to make a full set of iron armor using some of this iron that I do have. I know every piece of armor you wear when you're invisible increases the chance of you being seen. So if I wear full iron and I go outside, how many spiders are going to aggro on me? Oh, oh, are you aggroing on me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Basically most of them. So it's... Yeah. Uh, do you want a Do you want a set of iron armor now, or do you think you're gonna keep dying? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on dying. Don't worry about me. I mean, I'm you're gonna, you're gonna need leather. armor eventually, though. You can't just keep dying the whole time. Oh, don't worry about me. I have uh, leather on me right now. You're not making leather armor. No, I already have leather armor. Why? Did you loot it or did you craft it? Please tell me you I did loot not. It. Okay. I was gonna <laughs> say you crafted leather armor don't worry uh... so while my friend was out here living his best life dying at the hands of spiders left and right i was going to push my luck even further using my power of invisibility and go back to our spawn to try oh, and claim all base. of those chests okay. there was so much loot back there that i really wanted and i was hungry for progress okay so there's this really big like village area over here with like a massive Ooh. field of wheat and next to it is one of those outpost structures that have pillagers. I, oh, not ready for that yet. I am invisible though. They they wouldn't be able to see me. I'm gonna stick to one thing at a time. I'm gonna go back to the spawn area, and I'm gonna get as much of the stuff 
that we left behind. Luckily, okay. Big Brain Me was like, hey, we're probably going to die a bunch over here. It looks not safe. And I hid all of the original chest loot back into that chest. I did not trust myself. Smart. I'm taking this Iron Lantern, but I guess it doesn't matter. Originally, we were going to use a, a realistic torch mod, mm -hmm. but it's not... It doesn't work on servers. This is a really cool area over here. I, I did not expect to just be looting all this stuff. Oh, is that an anvil? Don't mind if I do. Okay, nothing in the furnace. Free anvil. I'll take it because we have, you know, iron's expensive. Yo, there's 12 iron in this chest. If you were trying to obtain that grain, this is the place to do so. Oh, my leg. But yeah, one of the big things of these, like, these, re like, world regens is they'll just make it so, like, stuff is crazy it does not work right i love it i'm making out so well over here i got two anvils oh i just realized that we lost the oh we lost so much good stuff dude i lost the the leather that oh wait, we have cows whoa yeah um i also have uh, five pieces of leather on me too so because we can make backpacks the backpack mod is incredibly helpful um um much leather that's I'm cool. inside of this watchtower, and it's kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's really scary in here. I'm just kind of breaking the system, though. Being invisible is like... Dude, I can't make this up. It's, it's so perfect. I'm, I'm like an isekai anime. I'm an overpowered main character. I'm slowly breaking my way down into this, like, tower. I want to see. There's a whole lot of chests down here. Be your I've way through. never actually gone in these before, because none of them spawned in my main world. They're dropping lots of... Oh, okay. okay. A lot of spiders down here. Okay, there's a ton more iron down here, but there's like a lot of spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, I don't like it. If one of them bumps me, I have no armor. Oh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. I hate when they look at you. Okay, I'm going to break the cow. Don't say it like that. There's so much going on down here. There's like mm -hmm. a dungeon on one side, tons of iron to mine, and an outpost. My inventory is also already full. An iron chest piece? Yes, please. I'll take that. And a carrot for carrot farm for golden carrots. Oh, there's a vindicator down here. Oh, dude. Diamond sword. Oh, wait, what? And diamond shovel. Oh, shoot. Yo, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. There's too much good loot. I got to be careful not to bump into a vindicator. They will probably one shot me with no armor. Another diamond shovel and a saddle! Oh no, my inventory. Need I, I need the saddle for a future horse. Alright, yeah. I don't need white wool. I mean, Damn, spiders lucky. are very common. Dude, this is this is nuts. This is, like, we're only in the third hour and we already have this much stuff. Spider, don't look at me like that. Sometimes the long spiders just stop and stare at me. Real ominously, and I do not like it. Dude, if you saw yeah. how many spiders I was, like, finessing my way around down here, it's scary. It's really scary. Oh, I can imagine. There's also slime spawning now? Wait, slimes? Yeah, because we're like low enough and it's a slime chunk. It's actually a pretty oh. sizable amount of slimes too. We could get a good amount of resources. Before I had known it, it was now nighttime and I had been exploring this tower and area full of loot for pretty much an hour. My inventory was so full of resources. I've had a stack plus seven raw iron along with so much other loot, including a diamond sword. This place was an actual cash cow. I had only just started exploring this area and I already had a full inventory of loot to deliver back home. So after making my way up out of the tower, I built my way back up the terrain the best I could and I headed back home to check on the farm that my friend was working on while I was out. What is this monstrosity? Wait, where are you? I like how you never you never know where I am. It's kind of funny. <laughs> what did you do? Why? Oh, there you are. Why Hi. are you building it in the air? Because I don't want spiders to be on it. They're going to they're going to spawn on it anyways. That is the most scuffed looking farm I have ever seen. <laughs> listen, listen. You told me spiders aren't um very happy about water. That's what I'm doing. So that's what you, So you did this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my I I can't. I actually can't. I'm going to go back over here. Um we should sleep though. I think we should do some big sleepers because uh the next hour I'd like to go back and loot 
more of that stuff. All right, so after my big mining trip, I have, so you have 38 iron that I just smelted, 34 iron I smelted, and so I've got a full set of my iron armor. You already have two pieces of iron armor. We Yo, have let's go. exactly two stacks of iron ingots. Then I also got two emeralds, I got some zombie heads, we have silk touch, got saddles, two uranium I could use to make a sword, which is now not much better than this diamond sword, so I'm not going to. Oh, hi, Nitwit. And then we got a bunch of diamond stuff, and we have carrots. We can start a carrot farm and make uh, gold. More importantly, though, I have five leather, so I could actually start making this backpack. In order to make the backpack, you need two backpack tanks, which is iron and glass. So let's take this stupid shovel and go get some sand. Sand is not going to be very abundant in this world. Yeah, we got zombie horses. What's up, guys? Skeleton horse. Yeah. Oh, there's a geode behind it. Ooh, surface geode. I'll take it. Wait, there's a downstairs. What is the... Oh, what is this? There's a downstairs area. It's got, like, spawners and stuff. Spawners? Ooh, of what? Ooh, it's got tons of food. Golden apple, another baked potato, five cooked pork chops, three uh, apples, cooked mutton, cooked chicken... Wait, all of the meats that we don't exactly have access to? Uh, I mean, we do have pigs? access to the pigs, so. Yeah. I'm going to take all of this stuff and go back up. There's also a ton of beds down here. More emeralds. Very useful. Dude, there's a lot of there's a lot of chests down here. Iron horse armor. A lead. More leather. This is crazy. There's all kinds of stuff down here. We got oh, two yo. chainmail chest pieces. We got chainmail helmet. Hey, I got good news for you. Just kill a spider and it dropped fortune two. Fortune two is great because we could really capitalize on iron. Dude, this is like right next to home too. So much loot. Honestly, this is a good area. I'm just going to come back over here, deliver all of my loot, copious amounts of delicious loot. Like, I kid you not, if I had found this mm -hmm. scarf in my regular spider world, things would have gone immensely different. Imagine the freedoms I would have had to actually do stuff in that world. I, I went through that entire world non-stop, constantly being harassed by spiders. I couldn't walk two inches without getting like beat up by a spider. And now I'm just over here with no armor on, existing. I'm pog facing right now. I found wild horses. Can you go to my house and get yeah. the saddles out of the chests and come over and meet me? In the meantime, okay, I'm going to make them my friend. Uh, the horse is getting closer to the edge. Okay. I have made one friend. I am now cheating on him with another horse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just casually getting a horse friend, and you're over there getting beat up by... Like, did you ever give me my leads? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, here you are. This horse is really stubborn. It's there on the ground. Go. Okay. Excuse me. How fast is he? Oh, this horse is uber slow. To be fair, though, spiders. to be fair, it's not about the speed of the horse, about the friendship. That's great to know. Um, <laughs> while, tell me that again. while you do what you're doing, I'm just going <laughs> to lead these three horses over here. I feel okay. it's I mean, I feel bad, but it's also kind of great that this is happening. I'm sorry. Not really. Why is this great? It's funny. You, you made a monstrosity. You made an actual monstrosity. This this farm thing is Thank you. terrible. It's terrible. Oh. It's so bad. Oh. oh, no. Wait, is this... Oh, I bumped into a spider. Oh, no. Okay, horses. I know it's not, like... It's not meant to be a stable, but, like, that's what it is now. Okay, we got two horses. One house. They can't actually get out because of how tall they are. I Wait. lost one horse along the no. way. Where did he go? Hey, buddy. Um. How's it going? Am I friends with you yet? Yes. Makes my life easy. You're one of the slow Perfect. guys. Did you know that there's horse genetics in Minecraft? You can like actually I breed traits. So. Yeah. Um. If you breed a horse that has like high health and fast speed, it should come out with a combination of those two. You can make a god tier Uber. I'm gonna do a hot take, a hot Minecraft take. Horses, mm -hmm. even before Elytras came out, were never that useful. I said it. I think horses are cool because they're fun animals. I like animals in Minecraft, but they're not useful. The second you hit any water, the second you hit, like, any, like, caves or, like, areas that are hard to traverse, you're just done. Let's go, house of horses! This is the dumbest thing I've done in Minecraft, probably. 
There's a legit. Did you actually trap all of them inside? <laughs> There's a house with four, no, five horses. I, I need out. I, I need out. Can you open the door? Ow. No, no, horse, <laughs> horse back in. Oh, the horse. Oh. The spider saw me. No! I'm back in the house and the horse is out. <laughs> These spiders are so brain dead. Okay. Back in the house. Back in the house. Are you serious? I'm gonna die from the damage because this game sucks! Back in the house. Back in the house. Back in the house! You know what? Keep the saddle. That's fine. And so, I don't have to worry about you guys re-escaping from the villager in there. There you go. I'm going to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Are you, are you good over here? Yeah. I'm doing great. The nitwit's there, though. Get out of my house. <laughs> you know what? This nitwit... He doesn't exist. Never did. Oh, murder? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Let's go. Oh no, where'd he go? None of the other villagers saw it, so it didn't happen. So at this point, we were really moving up in the world. We had gotten enough iron to fully situate ourselves in iron armor and tools and weapons. And for some weird reason, I spent most of this hour piling five horses into a house. Things were going great. All right, you know what? You need iron. You need iron armor, man. Today's the day. Perfect. Today's the day. You keep dying this guy's too much. It's inside here. Um, you, your natural selection is getting to me. If I give you this iron armor, you need to not lose it, okay? That's that's the I deal. I will not lose it. That's the deal. <laughs> Got you a shield as well. Perfect. Put this on. Thank you so much. You have another spider in your house, by the way. Yep. Just curious on how a spider spawned right next to me when I was sleeping. It went up into your. Oh god, dude, they're smart. I don't like that. Did you see that? It went up into the attic and climbed over. Ooh, ooh. All right, I think it was. No, it's the direction of your mistake of a farm. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. I mean, do you see what it looks like? Yes. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this farm. It's beautiful, right? It's something you'd see in a, on a public survival server. Diamond shovel's kind of pog, but like, hey, hear me out. Getting a diamond pickaxe would have been better. Because then I could get ruby. Dude, ruby armor is nice. That's the end game armor here. Shoot, what's... Wait. Increased durability or one? It's just really good armor. It's got like insane defense and stuff. Ah, I see. All right, let's see. One uranium, two uranium, three. Okay, there's at least six here. That's Pog. You could also make uranium armor. It's pretty good, but not as good as Ruby. Nice, dude. I, I got six uranium. I'll take it. And even uranium. more iron. I should probably stop taking as much iron for now until I get like a good pickaxe for fortune. If I can make a really good like fortune pickaxe, then I could capitalize on this iron. Oh, wait, I thought I gave you a fortune 2 book. You did, but it's, it's not the best fortune. Uh. Technically, I think the max in this mod pack is fortune 3. Sorry, fortune 4. Plus, you could also... Four. Yeah. There's like a book Damn, you can okay. get that upgrades fortune. Uh, plus, you could also get a relic item that increases the efficiency of fortune when mining. Oh, Jesus. no. I found a mimic. Mimic? Those okay. things again? Oh, I just realized I don't have any armor on. Why did I attack it? I got this. I got this. Please do. I got this. I got this. Natural selection. Let's go. Okay. You got it? It gave me a snorkel. Allows the wearer to breathe underwater. If this was a real world... That would be, be nice. super useful. Okay, down here, there's a lot of other stuff, dude. I found a blast furnace that I'm taking so I can mine some more. Oh, I also found some rubies. A oh, lot of rubies. Nice. I can't mine them yet, but I'm going to mark them using the... Waypoints? Yeah, boy. I'm going to do red, and we're going to be rubies. Dude, there's a lot of stuff down here. Okay, red... S <gasps> sand! Red sand, and I found seven sand in a chest. And 21 gunpowder. Okay, I've got sand, but I actually don't think I have enough unless red sand can make regular glass, which I don't think it does. Maybe with the mod pack it will, though. I'm gonna collect more of this 
iron while I'm down here. There's just so much of it. Gotcha. Um, maybe I should stop, like I said, until I get fortune. Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Spider caught me. Spider caught me. The stupid long leg spider smacked me. Oh god, can I get out? Oh boy. How far are you? I don't even see you on my map. If you even got here, I'd be dead by time. I got my way out. Well, I'm gonna expand the farm. Please just don't do it like you were doing it. <laughs> do it on the ground like a normal person. Make like a okay. fenced in area. Please. Like, so help me. Okay, I found a campsite with diamond horse armor. The horses are going to love that. Nice. I also found more gunpowder. A lot of gunpowder. Flax seeds. Don't care about flax. I got the lane of rain other side music disc that I think is overrated. And a lot of people are going to be mad that I said that. I think it's good, but it's not as good as pig step. <laughs> Tell me pig step's not the best. I don't think I've heard of pig step. You've never heard pig step. No. I Actually uncultured. Oh, I found some more gold. Some iron nuggies. Not gonna bother. Oh! oh! Wait, what? No! Uh, uh. That genuinely gave me a heart attack. It was a trap! I had like 20 levels, man. I'm not invisible anymore. No. I'm gonna go back to the hole. Hopefully the TNT... Luckily I died from falling, so the TNT did not explode any of my stuff. Good. That's so scuffed. The first TNT went off, and I was like, oh, I thought it was done, and then <laughs> it was not done. <sighs> Dang. It's been a while since a mod pack or a mod has gotten me with a trap like that. Because when you get used to specific mods, you un you know the traps, right? Like, yeah. the last time that I legitimately fell for, like, a desert temple pyramid TNT trap mm -hmm. was, like, 2012. Yeah. Okay. Got my stuff back. Hopefully all of it. Where's the invisibility thing? That's the most important. Nice. Give me it. Give me it. Poor spider finds me. My inventory is now full of crap. Wonderful. I got 180 dirt now. So that's pretty cool, I guess. 180 dirt. Perfect. I need that for the farm. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's a fun fact. This village does not have a waypoint. This village sucks. Uh, um, There's a little... There's like a whole area in between where the village is. Hmm? Oh, there's a there's a double chest down there. Oh, no, it has a waystone. Want to know where it is? Underground. It's in the abyss. Wait, what? In this the is some made in abyss level stuff here. It is all the way at the bottom of the world. There's surprisingly not many spiders. Actually, there's no spiders over here. What's going on? Never mind. There's there's a couple. I don't like it when there's no spiders. That means something somewhere there's like a pocket full of spiders. It is a bad time. All right, I will sleep in my field. Okay, there's apparently spiders nearby. So after the disappointing find of that village with a waystone all the way in the world's abyss, I kept exploring around the area looking for the next thing and hopefully a source of the sand so I could make myself a backpack. Since the village was near this entire pit of nothing, I went all the way around back to that little cart that I had found from before with the double chest down below. And let's just say getting down here did not end up being that easy. Oh, there might be a mimic down there. Oh, there is. There's two mimics down there. I don't have any armor on me. Mimics are kind of stupid though. So realistically, what if I like, in case I die, I'll put a bed right here, set my spawn. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to being able to, I feel like when I'm playing in non-hardcore, I play more, uh, less conservatively. Like I, Take more risks. Two mimics. There are two mimics here. Oh god. Oh god, he hurts. Oh, he hurts. Okay, I am one shot now. That's great. Okay, if I build up, I don't think they can get me. I think if I build up three blocks, I think I'm good. And then every time he jumps, I hit him. Let's go, I'm cheesing the mimic. Yeah, it's like a classic iron golem. What'd he drop? I got a cloud in a bottle. Allows the wearer to double jump. Let's go. Don't mind me trying to bump any spiders. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like this. I'm, oh, not a fan. 
What is that? Wait, what is this? I found something... What? Ooh, okay. I don't like how close I am to the abyss, but I found something interesting. This landscaping is kind of giving me made in, like made in abyss vibes, by the way. That's gonna make me be scared. Make you scared or sad? To buy one, get one free deal. <laughs> oh, I, f I uncovered some more uranium while just digging in the like mountain. Let's go. Uranium is great. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm fine. Scared myself. Whoa. Oh, on fire. <laughs> dude, what is this? I just hit the most insane chest I've ever seen. Home? So there's these things called ancient tomes. Yeah. That those are the things I mentioned that allows you to max out like the level of stuff. This mm -hmm. inside this chest has plus one sweeping edge ancient tome, max of sweeping edge four. A second one of those. Plus one efficiency. Maximum of six. Feather falling, maximum of five. And looting, maximum of four. Wow, you are. are. I am making progress, dude. I'm finding iron. Got a whole bunch, gun like more gunpowder. Cobwebs, kind of useless. I found a flag that looks like a mouth, like a monster mouth. It's pretty cool. Mm. I'm scared of, like, traps now. Where I'm at, especially, a trap would be fatal. After collecting the dank loot from the last few resource-filled areas, I tried to find where that original chest was, off the cliffside near this village. However, after getting underneath, the terrain just looked really just not safe. I was not having a good time down here. Plus, just seeing that big pool of lava in the void did not exactly give me the most supportive feeling. So, for the time being, I decided to leave using my cracked new double jump ability. Oh man, it's so good. The double jump is so much fun. I feel like a rabbit right now. I found a pillager outpost. Not okay. like the traditional ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, these guys are making me anxious walking by them. So at this point, we were now six hours into the world and I had found way too many places to explore. I ended up running into this pillager outpost. In this place, even though they couldn't see me because I was invisible, it did not feel like home at all. I was like walking through a minefield. All it would take is a singular bump into one of these guys, and I was probably dead, and I was going to have to run a long ways back to get my loot. Not to mention, at this point, my inventory was very, very full, and I still did not have enough sand to craft my backpack. So for now, I kind of just left. I'm hoping to find a waystone. If I can find myself a nice waystone, I can use that to just teleport back home. Whoa. Oh, another trap. There's another trap. Dude, come on. He's an eye. There was another trap. It was the same exact house that you're living in, but abandoned. And there was like a really well hidden pressure plate that dropped a TNT on me. Oh, I found another village kind of thing, like the tent village. See, sometimes you can find waystones just kind of like laying around. That's what I'm kind of going for here. Dude, there's this, there's this like tent with beds floating above a pit of water with villagers that fell through. <laughs> Natural selection. This chest feels like a trap. This is going to be a trap. You're a trap, aren't you? Ah, oh, there's too many it's spiders. It's not a trap. It has an iron lance inside. It's got gold. Apples, whole bunch of stuff. I'm finding some pretty decent loot out here. I also got a leather tunic with fire protection one. I can sleep if you'd like, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, if you could. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Ooh, I think I found a... Oh god, there's a camper in there. They're gonna try to kill me. Camper? Okay. Hi, camper. You don't know I'm here because I'm invisible. I'm gonna put you in a hole. <laughs> yeah, you nerd. Oh shoot, that actually worked. I'm gonna put him in a hole. Haha. <laughs> and now, since he's in a hole, I'm gonna use sand to suffocate him. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolute gaming giga chad moment. What's the matter, little campy boy? 
What's the matter? Oh, he dropped an emerald. Another day, another casual grave robbing. Ooh, soul fire torches. I don't have inventory for those. More emeralds, more golden carrots. Enlightenment two iron leggings. Yes, please. Phoenix dive. Falling from a height causes the release of a wave of fire, which damages and sets nearby enemies on fire. Also, while you hold the sneak key, you will jump higher. I've got no inventory space. I'm going to give up the iron katana. It's, it's seen its days. Oh, so there's a camper. Almost walked into him. I want to steal your stuff, though. All right, should I take a swing at the camper? Mm. If I put these like this, is he going to be able to get up here? Probably not, right? Oh, he went inside? Really? You're stupid. Natural selection! Give me your emerald. In his chest, he has... Oh, he has two saddles, dude. I want saddles. I don't want to give up, though. You know what? Smokers, very replaceable. Saddles are not. Whoa. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, sure. I, I found <laughs> an insane dungeon. Ow, ow, ow. Why? TNT explosion? No poison spider. I built up and there's poison. One ah. of the ones that has like the poison. I don't know. They're just ambiently jerks. Okay. That's, that's what they got going on for them. Yeah. But I found mm -hmm. back during my like original gameplay of a uh, better Minecraft. There's these massive yeah. like hell dungeons. I found one of those. Oh, shoot. So at this point, I just kept exploring more and more, and my inventory continued to be full, even though you wouldn't really believe me when I say that, because I just kept stuffing stuff into it. But one by one, I just kept finding crazy large dungeons to explore. And it it just kept on going. I, I really wanted to find a waystone so that I could actually teleport back home and start utilizing my inventory space. But I... I just kept finding stuff, I just kept looting, and I even found this massive, what I like to call, Hell Dungeon. This is one of the most insane things I've ever found in Minecraft. If you've been on the channel for a while, and you've seen my Better Minecraft video, this is that very same dungeon from Better Minecraft that I like to call the Hell Dungeon. Look at this. This structure is immense, and it's got these terrifying guys that spawn down there, but insane loot. Actually, I think exploring this while invisible is great. So there's like blaze spawners in here. There's like magma spawners. There's these insane skeletons. And this one's like half like on the surface, so it's it's also got a mine shaft through it. Ooh. And if I remember right, there's a boss that spawns in here even. I'm just, I'm taking these easy chest dog. Let's go. Let's go. More gold. Uh, okay, it's pretty much just gold, really. I can't even take any more of the, like, bones. Because I've just got so many bones on me. I be careful with the lava nearby. Dude, this is, this is nuts. I need to, I need to extract. Dude, I've got too much loot. I need to extract. I feel like I'm playing Division right now. And I'm in the, like, the DZ. And I'm just not leaving. Whoa. I need a waystone. I need a waystone. I keep saying it. Oh. I was just thinking about why there's not that many spiders. I, um, located the spiders. And there is a big fire going on from all the lava. Oh. Are they burning? Spiders aren't burning. But the actual, like, area to explore is. <gasps> oh. Oh, shit. That was a noise that came out. Is not safe down there. All right, this entire area is made of wood. It's gonna go up in flames from all the lava, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fall through like a hole and die of height. I need to leave. I need to Thank leave. You. I need to get home. This place is making me very anxious. I am an introverted Minecraft gamer that does not like crowded areas, and there are so many spiders, dude. Oh, that's a really cool camp too. Why is it gotta be way down there in the abyss? What is that? What is that structure? There's just a there's a creeper skeleton in the abyss. Creeper skeleton? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, they're pretty cool looking. It's like a skeleton from a creeper. I know you're yeah. like re really, like yeah, I'd figure. 
I really want to see that, actually. Oh, dude, I got myself in a really not safe place to be. Oh, I have to go back the way I basically came because there's no safe places. Unless I go this way. Oh, dude, that makes me. You know what? Whenever you're doing dangerous things, go to accessibility and turn off uh, sneak hold and sneak toggle. Oh, there's chests. Wait a sec. Those are not chests. Those are mimics. I have to kill those. I know these are mimics. I, I, I they've got to be. They're always like. Oh, that's a real chest. What? It's got a, it's got a load of TNT in it. Like so much TNT. <gasps> these are just two regular chests. Whoa. I might have just found our new home. Oh. I found the most gorgeous looking building. I have to. I'm gonna build across this massive area. Oh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of nerd pulling across this. All right, I got to this place. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna sleep when I get there. I think, hopefully. It's safe. Oh, there's also a built-in farm nearby and it's actually nice. It is really nice in here. And there's a horse stable with horses already. Wait, I hear villagers. Dude, there's even villagers, and there's, like, cushions up here, and the cushions are, like, when the mob walks on them, they get stuck, so, like, the villagers get stuck on the cushions. Ooh. So they won't die. Yeah, that's why. Not so I can have them exactly where I want them. This place is gorgeous, and it's a jackpot, man. It's an actual jackpot. There's, like, a cozy little kitchen area. Not a very efficient kitchen, but it is still a kitchen. It's got bottles of honey, carrots, baked potatoes. I need to go upstairs. I need to see what's up here. Ooh, it's so nice. My only concern is keeping this place spider free. I think this place should be home. We could add like a cool like overall wall around it, make a huge farming area and defend from hordes of spiders. Now it has to be home. Let me find a bed and we can sleep because I want to explore to find a waystone. And just like that, this gorgeous building was now our new home. The only thing is now that we found a place to live, we have to find a way to get there. This place had everything. It has horses, animals, crops, flat land to build nearby, and even a massive dungeon to explore in the vicinity. Only thing is, I still needed that waystone, which I know at this point, I just keep on mentioning. But until I get it, I cannot go back home, and we can't live in our new place. So, I continued on exploring the nearby area in the hopes of finally finding that waystone. Honestly, I think we're going to call this place home. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dump my inventory here. What is this weird block thing? Recipe filter? Recipe Applied filter. filter to basin. Whoa. Oh, wait, you can right click books on shelves to like place them. That's dude. That's so like on slabs. Wait, what? That is so cool. And finally, after all this time dumping my inventory backpack time, it's backpack time. Backpack, backpack, yeah! I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need 14 total glass to make it. I've got 10 there and seven sand. I've had enough this entire time! I finally did make myself the traveler's backpack. I got together all of the glass that I needed, used the iron that I had, and I grabbed some nearby red flowers out of the ground to make myself a sleeping bag. And boom, I crafted myself the Traveler's Backpack. I have an entire inventory of extra loot, a crafting table, two additional tool slots, and storage for water and lava, or whichever other liquids. I think even milk, which is kind of funny when you think about it, that I can have a tank of milk on me, but you know what? It's okay, we've moved up in the world, my storage is now immaculate so now that we had decided on our new home and i had my brand new backpack which allowed me to have so much more inventory space i once again set out scouring the nearby locations to find my waystone waystones allow you to get around so much more efficiently and at this point they're basically the only way i could even make it back all the way to our original base and my friend can actually make his way over to our new home. But more importantly, in the distance, I found a village. And if this village has a waystone, we are good, dude. We are, we are set. Oh no! <laughs> the heartbreak. Dude, the waystone is in the abyss again. You know what? I might just go for it. I don't have enough blocks on me. Okay, I think it's, it's a little bit higher than the actual bottom of the ground zone. 
where you start mm -hmm. taking damage from being in the void. I'm thinking I could do it. I could pull this off. It could be the heist of the century. So I went back to my base to find enough blocks to actually build out to try and collect it using a water bucket. However, while being back at my base, I found myself under siege with a band of wandering pillagers. I have a little bit of a problem over here. Oh no. A band of pillagers spawned outside of my house. Oh, you know what I oh, could do? No. You could do this stupid thing where you can take the villagers and you can get them stuck in a mm. boat. And when they're in the boat, they can you can have them shoot like nonstop until they break their bows. And they're just like pillagers without bows. Only thing is I have to push them into the boat without them murdering me. Hmm. Oh, 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 one guy. Okay, one guy's in the boat. One guy's in the boat. Nice. Hey, yo, also, dummy. I see, I see a twerking spider <gasps> on my side. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I accidentally got in the boat with one of them. Oh, shoot. Okay. Three of them are in the boats. One more. I'm out of boats, so he just needs to get into, into his boat. They're not going to despawn out here. I hope my villagers don't wander into them. To be fair, if they do, it's natural selection. Come on, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Yes, yes, yes. No. Wait. He, he sees me. He's shooting at me now. Oh, they're going to kill each other. They just shot each other. Oh, no. Don't kill each other. No, 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 no. Stop. I hate how the way that the trees are in this specific mod pack mm. makes it so getting wood sucks. Like, it takes long to make the trees fall down and then actually get the wood. And it sucks to actually try to regrow trees using um, bone mill. Bone mill is very expensive. And on top of that, when you mine down a tree, you don't get that much wood. Although I just got 10 logs from this one, so maybe I'm just eating my words. After stopping back at my house and getting whatever resources I could to try to get myself over to the waystone, I went back to the area to try to figure out a plan of attack. While trying to find the best way to get down there, I ended up getting a little distracted by this nearby mimic that had spawned down in some of the lower field areas. After getting down to him while fighting the server lag that I was dealing with, I did manage to kill him in the hopes of getting a cool artifact that could help me collect the waystone. And he ended up dropping an item called a universal attractor, which is exactly how it sounds. It attracts nearby items. And I was thinking maybe while I'm down there, the plan was to break the waystone while having water pouring over it and try to get it into my inventory before it fell into the void. But with this item, it might actually end up helping me do exactly that. So maybe this was exactly what I needed. However, it was now nighttime and my friend was nowhere near a bed. So in the meantime, I instead went to the nearby trees to collect some more wood that I could use to build my way over to that waystone in the abyss. Okay, so I didn't bring a bed like an idiot. I went back to get a bed and I didn't bring one. So that's cool. But I can make a chest at least and dump my stuff in it. All I need to bring over there with me is a pickaxe. Oh, that's real stressful. Dude, this is so not okay. This is so not okay. Listen, listen, listen. Just think about it. If you get back and teleport here, we can have our beds together again. Our beds were never together! All right, I'm taking off all of my important baubles. I'm no longer invisible. Water bucket time. Okay. I should have bought more than one water bucket. Actually, I can make like a water. Oh, oh, not a fan of that. I can make like a water staircase, kind of. Oh, <laughs> not a fan of that. Not a fan of this whole process. Dude, my heart is skipping a beat right now. Oh, that pocket of that pocket of air terrified me. Did not like that. Did not like that. Okay, just in case, I'm gonna make another cut right here so no spiders can get across that. The next operation is to get directly over top of it. Directly. So when I place a water bucket, it goes and makes contact. And then make a wall down there and then break and hope hope for the best. Oh dude, if a spider spawns up here.
Okay, I'm on top of it now. Come on, Painting. I have money betting on you right now. Why are you gonna bet? How is that gonna help me? <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna help you, but it's gonna help me the make quirk, more money. The quirk mod is helping me. Because <laughs> you can, like, place, uh... You can place blocks underneath things by, like, mm -hmm. clicking them in a certain spot. Okay, I'm officially here. There is a block now underneath it, meaning it cannot fall. Okay, we have gotten the waystone! Waystone operation halfway done. Now, getting back up top and hoping that no spiders spawned. So if there is a spider up here camping me, it's all kind of over. Oh, I'm so scared. There's no spiders so far. I got my invisibility thing. I'm putting it, I'm, I'm putting it on. Uh, oh God. Okay, invisibility is back. Operation is officially a success. I made it. Let's go. And just like that, I had done it. I had successfully conquered the abyss and gotten a second waystone. After this, I very, very carefully traversed my way back up the little pile of floating mountain area, whatever you want to call it, and ran back home through the night. I now had access to a second waystone, which means we could officially start teleporting back and forth and we could start traveling. Which was definitely helpful because looking at my old death, I was more than 2,000 blocks away from where my friend now was. All right, Waystone, new home. Boom. And I can go back to whatever this one's called because, oh, I stole your XP. Oh, what the hell did you do? Why did you put it here? You put the what farm in our entire walkway. Why would you do that? Make it easier. In the new base, we're gonna make it look nice, man. So you <laughs> do not do not do this. We're gonna make a cool wall around it and it's gonna be nice and you're not gonna screw it up, okay? That's what's gonna happen. I will sleep just for your sake so you can have some daylight to not get murdered, but I'm leaving. Thank just you. like dad, I'm leaving. I may have just realized something. I don't know if the waystones are shared. I don't know if you can, when you- nope. when, it's not shared. Oh, dude, you have to go manually. And while he was having his first go at actually exploring the world, I was back at the new house, dumping copious amounts of my inventory into the couple of chests that I had put outside. Because I have already gotten a lot of stuff. Tons of iron, lots of random useful things, tons of food. We have 19 emeralds. And we could also start using crazy fortune with a pickaxe if we get diamonds but first that was going to require us to trade with villagers and luckily this new house just so happened to have an abundance of villagers my allergies sound whack today so if my voice sounds weird that's why you know how expensive allergy meds are huh? in this economy yeah i can imagine or even without this economy they're just so expensive it's <laughs> I've seen. So I was going to ask, could you start gathering stone from somewhere so we could build a wall? Because we're going to make like a little like wall around this place. We're probably going to need maybe like a double chest full of stone. I will help you. But first, I want to find diamonds so we can make a diamond pickaxe so we can get ruby for actual good armor. So there's a couple of minecart chests down here that I really want to collect. All right. We zoom in. And this time it'll be diff. Ow. My legs. My legs. Whoa, I can't fight the water. Oh, dude. Okay, if you ever hold down shift, sometimes if you forget to unshift and you're in water, it'll you'll just not. It is terrifying. All right, first chest, no diamonds. Yeah, must be great. I think this is one of our only ways to get uh, lapis as well. I love exposed mine shafts. They're like one of the most fun things to explore in Minecraft. Is that a random ant? There's a random anvil just sitting down here. Oh, there's a mimic too. One more hit. Nice. What do you drop? Antidote vessel. Greatly reduce the duration of negative effects. Okay. So now that we had some goals in mind to accomplish and we had a technical place that we could call home, I set out to the nearby mine shafts in the hopes of finding some diamonds in a chest or two because I had come to the realization 
that we did not have zombies in this world, so we could not exploit villagers for low trades. So if we wanted to get ruby armor, I was going to need enough diamonds for a diamond pickaxe. While I was down in the mines in different structures looking for diamonds, my friend was hard at work gathering lots of cobblestone for us to begin building some sort of wall around our base to hopefully block off some of the spiders. But I, I found something fun for you. I found a cloud in a bottle. Exactly the thing that I had that gives me double jumps. I have a second one now. I have a delivery for you. Are you in the oh, hole? Oh, perfect. Right? There's spiders. There's multiple spiders coming down here. Wait, what? Go back off. Hey, oh. I heard you had spiders Hi. coming in your hole. Had, yes. There you go. Cloud in a bottle. So we're probably going to turn this area like over here into like a little shuriken farm, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to like make it super fancy yet. But I'm just gonna like make it so we can actually get books and I'll start like when I'm out and exploring I'll start collecting actual like bookshelves and stuff all right this will be our temporary little bit here and just as it grows we can just keep chopping it down and grow more okay let's make a quick little stone farm for you if you want to make this make your life easier and not dig a massive hole in the ground for spiders to spawn yeah that would be nice <laughs> so why this big chonker of a spider camped my friend in the kitchen we sat around just waiting for the stone to smelt so we could build ourselves a new cobblestone generator because we're going to need a lot of cobble to actually build a wall around this house. After getting enough of the stone smelted, I made stone bricks and I quickly put together a small little generator that I always use in my hardcore worlds because this thing is just perfect. You use staircases for the water so that way they still count as full water sources and as the lava on top touches them they turn into stones so you can harvest either stone or cobble and overall not that expensive to make. Only took four hoppers and four double chests. I used iron bars because it's the only thing that allows you to see out so you don't get jumped on the way out but when you go in here you can just close the door and just mine in peace. That I'm gonna go back to the original area near spawn and continue looting that because I didn't finish looting any of that. There's also still TNT back there, which I kind of want. I have a funny idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, the villager. I, I, oh no! He said he'd help. Please don't do it anymore. No. <laughs> he's stuck in the anvils. He's stuck in the anvils. Oh, he's twerking. He's gonna twerk for us. He's gonna twerk for us. Come on. So at this point, we are now on to the tenth hour of this world and to be honest we really haven't done a lot yet so i wanted to get things started today i sent my friend over here to manual labor in the mines I ignore that he's getting paid and while he was slaving away getting cobblestone for our brand new wall i fast traveled back to our original home to begin adventuring to find ourselves those diamonds once we get the diamonds we could both become literal gods i'm back at the area where i was looting all that stuff from and now okay i ran out of i ran out of blocks now i actually have space in my inventory i can loot a lot more stuff i found magic protection to death's odom iron leggings projectile protection to boots and 16 emeralds in here yo dude there's i got a full stack of iron from these chests already this is cracked and it goes even further down oh there's a lot of pillagers down there i gotta be careful not to knock any of these guys while i'm down here if there's that many pillagers, there's got to be good loot down here, though. Okay. We got more gold nuggies. Protection one iron helmet. Okay. Oh, stay away from me. Protection two iron chest piece. Okay. Gotta be very careful. None of them bump me while I'm in my inventory. Oh, this is scary. No, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, I'm trapped. Oh, one of them saw me. All right, server lag is still not doing me any, any favors, but I did finish looting this place and it is a good source for like future wood, to be honest. You know, I act like I haven't seen this before, but I just keep walking into like these rooms full of tons of spiders and it is just, it's a little daunting, just a little. There's a lot of iron, but I'm actually going to hold off on harvesting it. Ooh, smelter enchantment and momentum one. 
So, uh, smelter, whenever you break a block, it automatically smelts it. Wait, what? You can put it on, like, any tools, and it'll, like, smelt whatever you pick up. So, like, if you mine sand, it'll mm -hmm. turn into glass immediately. Really cool enchantment. That's beautiful. So, I kept exploring around this big makeshift dungeon mess, and I did find a bunch of decent loot throughout the chests, but still, zero diamonds or even a diamond pickaxe. However... In the distance, I did notice yet another mineshaft area that surprisingly looked exactly the same as the one that I had just explored. And I figured, you know, since I'm in the area, why not also explore this place? While I was setting my sights on some new possible treasures for us to have, my friend was back at her house trading with villagers, turning them into the perfect farmers. So that way we could not only get more emeralds, we could also get golden carrots, and we could use them to eventually, hopefully, get diamond tools if we have to go down that route as well. Ooh, what is this? Wait, what is this? A bone to pick. This is a different dungeon. Ooh, golden... At Wait, I know what kind of dungeon this is. I might find diamonds, actually. Oh, sand! I found more sand. Nice. This area is actually a gold mine. Unless you actually want to get, um, you know, diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, I found, um... Oh, these guys actually spawn. Oh my god, they're piglin brutes? They will murder... Oh, there's so many of them! I've got to break that spawner before they spawn more. Good thing you got the scarf, right? Yeah, it's great! Oh, it's so great being down here. Okay, more iron. Sharpness one sword. Uh, Sharpness one sword. I can't take all this armor anymore. I have to stop taking armor. Okay, I can't get to that without getting beat up. This, this room is making me anxious. Two diamonds, two diamonds. But I can't, I, I don't have inventory space. I don't have inventory space. Okay, one bone, get rid of that. Put those in there, put that in there. Okay, I'm better. I've got more space. Okay. Two diamonds. Nice. And a wither rose, which can be used to kill mobs. This guy needs to stop. This guy needs to stop. Stop coming near me. Dude, this is so not cool. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, there's a downstairs as well. I really want to go to the downstairs. I've got, like, no inventory, though. And these guys are making me really nervous, man. Oh, there's even more guys downstairs. Oh, dude, this is... This is intense. This is intense. The spider is in my way. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stop. 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 <laughs> He's just standing there menacingly. It's like they know, man. They're just like waiting. Oh, I'm glad I did not go down that ladder. I go straight to the abyss. Oh, shoot. Okay, no pig boys up here, right? So, after finally getting two diamonds, I very carefully climbed my way up and out of that absolute nightmare surrounded by piglin brutes. After getting above, I looted these couple chests in this small little structure that apparently spawns underground. And inside the chests, I got myself some more iron. After that, it was kind of becoming nighttime and my inventory was full, but I had set my eyes on this nearby mimic because I, what can I say? I just like loot. And these guys, they got really good loot. See, I feel like a mimic would be like the ultimate kind of like pet. Like, like the monster tries to kill you and you keep it as a pet by like force. Kind of like in Harry Potter when they like close the books that like have mouths. And you oh, just put those. like, you put like the worst stuff inside of it. Like the mimic is just like hates your existence and you just put like, ooh, grants immunity to knockback. I look ridiculous. I am invisible, but I look ridiculous. At this point, because my inventory was getting really full, I had made the tough decision to make my way back out of the cave system that I had found myself in and climb up and over to the waystone so I could go back home to dump all my 
copious amounts of loot. And upon getting home, I also got to witness our first real trading villagers. Okay, I got a little distracted trying to run home, but you will not mm -hmm. get- Yo, there's two of them! Wait, two of what? Waystones, dude! The, you know the waystones I was telling you about? How I was like, oh yeah, they spawn in fields sometimes randomly, and I never yeah. find them. Well, I found one. Okay, it's in the middle. It's in the middle of the abyss. That's not that great, but I can still get to it. I had to go down to an abyss to get my last one, and now there's just three next to each other. I'm not complaining, but like, <laughs> damn. Dude. <laughs> yes, please. This means we could both use them even, and now we could just, whenever we go out, we're like, oh, I want to come back here and explore some more. We just place the waystone and come back. Oh, there's a cool castle nearby too. There we go, waystone number two. All right, you know what? I am gonna keep exploring over here. I will come back and dump my stuff, but this is like the perfect opportunity. I'm gonna build over to the village, get myself the waypoint or waystone. I keep calling them waypoints. Get myself the waystone. There's like tons of stuff to explore underneath as well. And there's the castle nearby. That castle, if I remember right, might actually have diamonds in it. Oh shoot, I found an umbrella. Oh, it's inside one of these chests, interesting. Can be used as a shield and a glider. It looks ridiculous, mm. but I could double jump and then use it to glide. Oh, uh, yo. Like, my mobility is nutty right now. Oh, wait, this is a different castle. Ooh, hear me out here. This may be a cooler place to live than where we just were. Diamond horse armor. That's pretty cool. A unbreaking two ecological sword. Okay. I'm going to leave this stuff in here because I'm going to place a waypoint here. What I need is diamonds. Oh, there's a prison too. I like jail. Wait, what? Jail's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to place this waystone here. Name it castle. We're going to go back home. Dump all of my copious amounts of crap. I'm not going to organize these chests. I'm not organizing these chests. I'm going to tell you that. Throughout this playthrough, we will only have a expensive chest, so I'll make that up top. We put like gold, emeralds, diamonds, stuff like that in. That's all mm -hmm. I'm organizing because i not doing it. And I'm going back to exploring this castle. It's just too much loot. Give me. Give. Fine. I don't know. I feel like this castle, maybe if we clear it out, it could be a bit... Nah, I like that house better. To be honest. All right, come back home with even more crap. Oh, you know what it is? I found the most horrifying thing ever. Ooh. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. I found like a spider den. Ah, gross. There's a lot of spiders down here, but I also see some loot behind them. Yo, yeah. I found a diamond chest plate. Okay, so we can we could easily make the great leap with the resources we have now. We're gonna have to just work on the villagers and work on the house. I gotta somehow find a way to get back up to my area to trade. Is this a mimic? <gasps> it's a trap chest. No, it's got tons of TNT in it. Or it's got tons of gold apples in it. Oh, they're gone now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. They just, they just fell next to it. So yeah, even though I said I was going to go back to the base to actually start progressing and getting, you know, good enchantments, good armor, whatever, I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist the draw of loot. I just kept exploring this area because it was just chock full of so many things. There's just so many things I could take and borrow indefinitely, and I couldn't control myself. I was... I was like in a trance. I don't know what to tell you. I came out of there with over 18 golden apples. So if, if you do say, oh man, you just keep looting down in the comments. Honestly, yeah, I do. I, I literally do. I can't. I have a problem. In order to get our villager friend to become the toolsmith that we needed for the diamond pickaxe, we had to go through the entire house and play this game of hide and seek to find all of the individual barrels that were causing these guys to still be fishermen. And it kind of sucks because barrels are a really nice decorative item that you could use in Minecraft. But if you do have villagers, this ends up happening every single time. Oh, here we go. Okay, iron's now giving me more XP. Cool. Perfect. I need more iron. Okay, he refreshed and his new trades are even worse than before. But this should be... This should be it. Diamond. 
Pickaxe with efficiency one. Diamond pickaxes acquired. So at this point, it was now the end of hour 11, and we had gotten ourselves diamond pickaxes. And now we can go out and collect all of the rubies that we wanted, and that was exactly what I was going to do. Only thing is, before doing this, I wanted to get the ultimate level of fortune or on my pickaxe. And if we wanted to do that, that means it was time to make an enchantment table. Yeah, it's safe to say the spiders have gotten worse out here. Um, So I'm thinking about putting it downstairs. We can actually make downstairs nice, right? We haven't done much with the downstairs area. It's pretty terrible looking. I'm thinking we can add like a cool little area. I was also thinking about putting villagers down here, to be honest. Oh God, this is actually painful. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. So while my friend was struggling to deal with the new abundance of spiders, I was cleaning up the downstairs area, preparing it to become our workshop so we could finally get to enchanting. After cleaning out all the random resources and trap doors from the ground, I replaced all of the floor with a nice spruce wood and I began crafting myself a bunch of bookshelves that I could use to make the enchantment setup. Uh, if I put this in here... Oh, I can get fortune too as the first shovel enchantment. That's kind of nice. Okay, I I gathered a ton of like slabs from up here. Do you know which chest I put them in? So I'm gonna make downstairs safe for you as well, since I'm invisible and I'll deal with it. There should be a bunch of spruce, uh, not slabs, trapdoors. That, and then like, can can you not? Tr cringe. so triggered right now i'm so triggered why did it, why did it want to cooperate like that okay all right i don't think spiders will be able to climb through that but i think we'll be able to smack them if you come over here as bait we could bait some uh what about this entrance right over here do we just block it off uh i could just put doors for now okay so because we don't have like there's no lapis ore really in this world. We're gonna need to find yeah. a way to get more lapis. 13 is not a lot. I did make a grindstone. I'm gonna go back mm -hmm. downstairs and we're gonna test out the, uh, test out the good old sham. That's not where I meant to put it. <laughs> so I'm gonna grindstone this other diamond pickaxe and I'm gonna see what I can get from it. Range three, no. So the problem is we could, we could re-roll with lapis. Mm -hmm. But if I... Ah, Vitality 3. Oh, that's a really good enchantment. I'm doing it. Maybe I'll enchant... What does the shovel give me for... Telekinesis could be pretty useful, actually, for a shovel. I'll, I'll give it that. All right, I'm going to take a chance here, and I'm going to get this efficiency 3 for this. Range okay. 3, efficiency 3, diamond pickaxe. That's... To put it bluntly, that's super mid. I have enough XP for one more big enchant. Sage Blessing 5. Isn't Sage Blessing like trash? Increases XP, but also adds exhaustion from time to time. Oh, no, it's actually really good. Uh, I'm going to put the bigger enchantments first because bigger feels better. This is going to cost 8, and it's got Sage Blessing 5, Telekinesis, Range 3, and Efficiency 3. It's not the greatest pickaxe, but it's a pickaxe. So now that we had our enchantments set up down below and we were beginning to put together new tools and armors, I sifted through all of our chests to find the ultimate combination of fortune books for my pickaxe. Once I get a decent amount of fortune, I can then take the pickaxe and go and collect all of the rubies to make us some god tier ruby armor. Okay, yeah, I can make the book into fortune three. It costs 10? I'm not gonna have enough at that rate. Okay, what if I what if I put fortune onto this? That costs five. Cost five. To get fortune three, it's gonna cost ten. All right, so if I give if I give him this, that puts me at fortune three. In order to get to fortune four, thirty levels, thirty. I guess I'm gonna go attack spiders. I mean, I need I need some XP. Damn. These spiders out here do be giving me some juicy XP though. I'm at level seven already. So yeah, I needed to get thirty more levels just to make that pickaxe fortune four. That's unincluding the fact that I wanted to add other enchantments like endermending to it. This thing was going to be expensive. 
At this point, it was now the end of hour 12, and we have officially past the halfway mark in this world. And I can honestly say things were going really well. At this point, I wanted to get more XP for my pickaxe and my inventory was looking like a mess. So I cleaned it out and I set back out on a fresh journey to go find some experience. Yo, free XP? I'll take this before my trip, okay. Natural spider selection! Get wrecked, nerds! I'm gonna be wrangling them up again. You're just gonna farm spiders. Okay, while you farm spiders, I'm gonna go out and farm ores and stuff. Just- I'm just gonna mine stuff for XP. Okay, okay. I'm gonna mine four... Wait, four... Five iron. Oh, no! No! Telekinesis stops fortune from affecting iron. This pickaxe is worthless! So, yeah. I had figured out that... My telekinesis enchantment on my pickaxe basically made fortune not work for iron, which is one of the main reasons I actually wanted to have fortune on the pickaxe, because iron is a very useful resource in this world, and it's not like we could get diamonds. So while thinking of a solution to the problem, I just kept mining and exploring the nearby area for all the XP and resources it had to offer. So after I had finished mining all of the resources and I looted a nearby house, I continued on exploring. Originally, I was planning on heading back home because what I wanted to do was work on enchantments. However, my friend was mentioning how we were pretty much out of lapis and because this world doesn't go deep enough underground, we can't really mine that much lapis. So the only way we could actually get more lapis was to find it in chests. So I, I just kept exploring. Honestly, the challenges of this world were a lot more than I had originally anticipated. I thought this place was going to be difficult because of the spiders, but it turns out the lack of resources was just as bad. Okay, so I may have found another one of those hell dungeons, which I'm now remembering... Oh. The blaze spawners. The blaze spawners we can make a farm with for XP, which would be great. But we still need lapis. Lapis is... <gasps> Wait. Do alchemists trade lapis? They trade for lapis, right? Yeah. Alchemists. An alchemist villager. Alchemist villagers trade uh. for lapis. I, I believe. Dude, I found another hell dungeon. And there's a village inside of it with villagers. <laughs> so... You get a, um, get a cleric to get us some lapis uh, for trades. I'm going to begin exploring this hell dungeon and take home as much of the loot as we can get. If the village is right here, that means that there should be a waystone. Ooh, wait, I can mine some of this weird obsidian stuff now. Wait, wait, I found the waystone. Let's go, new waystone. This is the weirdest stuff, okay. dude. You should see this place. Oh my God, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna take the- Ooh, this right. ore breaks fast. It's called Crystallized Obsidian. Oh, you can make stuff with it! Indestructible at a cost. Oh... Wait, what's the cost? Oh... No, no, no. Do I want to go down inside the Hell Dungeon? I really do. Oh, I see a gold block down there. The chest down here, next level. I'm invisible, right? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're going big boy exploring. No surface cave in this time. It's go time. Whoa! Uh, don't, hit don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. I forgot you guys spawned. I forgot you spawned. Oh, I forgot you spawned too. Oh, very carefully. Nobody hit me. I made a crucial mistake down here. There are giant magma cubes that spawn, and there are... Skeleton Riders on Phantoms. I found a Netherite Scraps. Wait, Netherite Scraps there? Yeah, there's Netherite Scraps in these chests. I gotta break... Oh my god, these... I remember how scary these guys were. Diamond Block?! Whoa, what? I found a Diamond bl Okay, you know what? Real quick, in case I die, I'm gonna place a Waystone here. So that I can come back to it in case I die. In case some stupid stuff happens. I'm very far away. There's blaze. There's blaze spawning now. 
As his blaze spawners above me. I'm not going to break the blaze spawners. Ooh, the magma cubes. Oh, dude, this is not okay. Is that a mimic? Not a mimic. Dude, there's so... There's like a ton of gold blocks in here. What? I am going to explode. This is just like better Minecraft. This is the thing I explored in better Minecraft. But dude, if you saw what I was like maneuvering around right now... I'm level 30 also. I hit level 30. Three more diamonds in... Dude, okay. Oh my god. We can get netherite even. I need to, I need to break the spawner first. The spawner's gotta go. Okay, I gotta eat as well before I, like, explode. Freaking out here. Mm -hmm. And I gotta set a point on my waystone so I don't lose it. Because there's just a cluster gotcha. down here, man. Oh boy! I'm just having fun with this oh, builder not picking up a burning stand. Dude, there's like so much stuff spawning here now. Okay, I'm gonna do a GG. There we go. It's called GG because I, I didn't have time to type anything. Because I don't want someone to hit me. I gotta be very careful which way these guys jump though. Uh, Fortune three, Fortune three enchantment book. Oh, more blaze spawners. Oh. Okay. Um, ancient debris, a whole bunch of netherite, four diamonds. This is so crazy because I could just like sneak my way through this place. Dude, you know how strong the enemies in this dungeon actually are? <gasps> oh! I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. He spawned on me and I bumped him. Temporary retreat. Back home. Back home. Back home. I, I dropped my pickaxe on the ground before I left. You're kidding me. I'm going back. Okay, all the enemies have despawned. I had to get my pickaxe back. Panicked and hit Q somehow. Am I even a yes. real Minecrafter? Who does that? Okay, I got it. I got my pickaxe back. Okay, new emerald block. Three more ancient scraps. Cool thing is, all the spawners I break give me dank XP. I'm level 32 already. Almost just got bumped again. Oh! Oh my god, this scare me so much. Dude, this is not okay. This is a death waiting to happen. Those gold blocks. This is a death waiting to happen. Oh, more netherite scraps. I'm gonna start breaking some of these, like, these, these stupid spawners that are spawning those things, man. Oh my god. Stop. I've got another block of emerald. I got 12 more netherite scraps, dude. So yeah, I had found another cracked hell dungeon. And this place was one of the scariest experiences I've had in Minecraft. Oh! Wait, whoa, whoa, what? What? Did I stop recording? Oh my god. My base was not set to home! I'm not invisible now! Oh no! I gotta get in there without getting- Some of my stuff burned too, I heard it burn. <sighs> this is really bad. This is really bad. I can't even get down because I don't have a water bucket. I have hay barrels I can use to jump onto, that's not gonna help that much. Uh, do you want me to give you some water buckets? You can't even get over to me. Oh, you're that far away. Okay. How did I get- how did I get in? I broke in somewhere. Was it here? It was here. If I jump, it's gonna kill me. This is actually just gonna kill me. But if I stay up here, a spider's gonna kill me. Oh my god, it worked. I didn't die. Okay. Um... Real quick, I'm gonna go back home. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna set my spawn in a bed. Okay. And I'm also gonna get a golden apple and eat it. Okay, leave bed, leave bed, don't care. Oh, the frame rate lag. So somehow when I was in that amazing dungeon getting all kinds of copious amounts of loot, one of the magma cubes jumped down on me and splatted me out of nowhere. I honestly have no clue what actually happened here, but I was devastated. I lost all 30 some of my levels that I had gained and possibly even my cloak of invisibility. I ran back there as fast as I could after resetting my spawn 
to see if my loot was actually intact. But my hopes were not the highest. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, stuff don't spawn. Stuff don't spawn. Stuff don't spawn. Go away. Um. Where's my cloak? Where's my cloak? Where's my cloak? Oh, <gasps> the cloak. Okay, I got it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. They don't see me anymore, right? Oh, they still see me. They still see me. Why? Why do you still see me? Okay, come on. Come on. Fight me. Fight me. Yeah, come on. That's what I thought. You, you dropped bread? I'm gonna... I guess I'm just gonna keep exploring. What is that? That's a blaze spawner. That's gotta go. Don't spawn blaze. Don't spawn blaze. Don't spawn blaze on top of me. Oh, they're not just blaze. They're guard... How did they see me? How did they see me? I'm out of here. I'm out of here, dog. I'm out of here. I don't know how he saw me. I don't know how he saw me. I hate it. I hate it here. This place sucks. This place sucks, man. I'm just breaking spawners. I'm done with these spawners. I lost so much XP, dude. I lost so much XP. So now I found myself back at the base with a clean inventory ready to set back out. And while I was doing this, my friend had turned a new villager into a cleric that we could use to trade to get us some lapis. And hopefully, if we level him up enough, he could even give us ender pearls to go to the end. But for now, while he was continuing to trade with him, it was back to that hell dungeon for me to get revenge and get as much XP back as I possibly could. I can smelt the obsidian ore into crystallized obsidian and I can make uranium. I'm making 24 uranium now, which is only enough for one full set of armor. But realistically, that armor is actually pretty good. I'm just out of, I'm out of enchantments now, which really sucks. I, I lost all my levels. This is going to be an uphill battle. We can make a blaze farm out of some of the spawners over there. Yeah. But it might be kind of difficult to do that. It might be easier and or safer to just instead do that in the nether. I'm actually going to go back to the place, finish looting that area to get as much XP as I can. Mm -hmm. And I guess try to make myself armor. And then we can get working on like some kind of like wall around this base to fight off the spiders and make this base into a home. Make this house a home. Okay, these, these spawners just gotta go, like, immediately. I don't care. Okay, there are a couple of, like, hidden chests that I need to, like, get in here. They, like, hide them up in the, like, roof and stuff. Okay, it's got more gold ore. I mean, I could use fortune once we get fortune to mine that. Oh, another one. Yo, what? It's got 16 diamonds in it! 16? Jesus. One single chest had 16 diamonds. It's cracked. <gasps> oh! That scared me. What is that? What is going on? What is that? Dude, what is this? Vite 5 diamond boots? Another 48 diamonds? Oh god, it's so risky though. It's getting so risky. I'm gonna place- Oh, how did the blaze see me? Okay, you know what? Going home. Okay, lag. Okay. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Come see our diamond chest. I don't have inventory space for it. There's more loot to be had, baby. Let's get this loot. And things did not stop there because after going back, I just kept looting more and more places and there was just even more stuff. This chest had four blocks of diamond, a netherite ingot, a diamond helmet, tons of gold, a crystal heart, and other just insane loot. Some stuff that literally you just, it's like it's fake. It's like it's not even real. This stuff blew my mind. I was absolutely freaking out. I'm so scared I'm gonna get hit by a magma jerk or like a blaze. Oh, it scares me every time. Slime go away. You know what? I'm gonna place a waystone, teleport home. So the stuff despawns. <laughs> Teleport back. Eee. And now the stuff is gone, just like dad. See, the key is these dungeons are meant to be extremely difficult, right? If I was down yeah. here fighting them regularly, I would have died a million times. But because I'm invisible, 
I'm just like cheesing this stuff so beautifully. So at this point, it was safe to say we were pretty set, but before leaving this area, I wanted to make sure I got as much as I could take. So I continued wandering around, breaking as many spawners as I could for lots of XP and collecting just the insane amounts of life-changing loot in here. This place is like winning the literal lottery. And by the time I had got back to our base, another hour had already passed. We had enough netherite to make netherite tools and armor. We had tons of gold, and now we could fully deck ourselves out in diamond enchanted armor. And that is exactly what I went to do. At this point, both of us had full sets of diamond armor, but we still needed to get a consistent source of XP to farm to get good enchantments. However, I could no longer take the mess that was our storage area. Wee! After cleaning out the top area, we began moving all of our villagers down to their new... I don't want to say a prison, but like... It's not not a prison. Throughout the next couple of days in game, we kind of just took a chill pill for a bit while organizing the area. The villagers were all now down below, and I was in the process of starting to place out a nice kitchen area full of furnaces when we noticed something in the, the chat had popped up. The super harvest moon rises. Your crops provide an exceptional harvest. Not quite sure what that actually does, but... My friend was very excited about it and wanted to go down and harvest a lot of the crops. Overall, this hour kind of drug on because we didn't have enough wood to properly work on the house. But while my friend spent his time down in the basement trying to get that mending villager, I fixed up the second floor fully. So we now had a kitchen area with blast furnaces, smokers, and furnaces. We had anvils, a blacksmithing table and we had a little chest area where we could finally begin sorting most of our inventory properly. And the actual place still had tons of extra space. I ended up adding an extra side area so that way we could fit even more stuff and the chests would not take up most of the area we had to walk in. Overall, pretty successful hour if I say so myself. Do we have a mending villager yet? No. At this point, we now had a bunch of good villagers going on in the bottom floor. We had protection four and I'm breaking three. And I had not only started to organize our loot, but I also started to compile a lot of good enchantments to start making some really good sets of armor for myself. But the only thing is we now needed XP. Oh, these are not just blazes. They're called- Wait, what? Yo! Did you I get mending? Expect... Uh, not from a villager, but yeah, one of the spiders dropped the mending boat. Okay, these are not, um, they're not blazes. Oh? They're called foundry guardians. They have a lot more health than blazes. Gross. But- they might be able to give us a better XP farm. I'm trying to figure out by killing enough of them. This may not work. I don't know. My main concern is that the bottom blaze spawner, it's so low to the ground that if I break under, I think this is void. I think I've only got two layers to work with before void. Yeah, I've only got three layers to work with before void. So the bottom spawner would have to go, because there's no way I can make an actual farm. Man, they're kind of just bullet sponges, though. They have so much health. Did you hear the noise that thing made? Oh my god. After making my way over to the area where the blazes are, it turns out that these guys were called Foundry Guardians, and they had 55 health apiece. However, after breaking the bottom spawner, I can still make a farm out of the one that was floating up above. So now my goal was to sit here and build out a cobblestone box area that was going to make up the floor for the lava trap because blazes can be pushed just like with water, but with lava. I was also debating using water, which would damage them along the way, but I was scared that while AFKing, it would just kill them and I wouldn't end up getting any XP. So I just sat here for 
who knows how long just trying to get this area to work i don't know what i was thinking to be honest i'm calling it quits on the blade spawner for now i'm thinking though what we should do yeah we could go build a portal somewhere and since we have waypoints we could actually just find the perfect spot for a spot in the nether and maybe even debate on you know making a blaze farm out of like a fortress if we find one <sighs> all right first nether portal oh, if nice. we're lucky we could actually just get a nether fortress like right here if we're not lucky though doesn't really matter because i could just go and do it somewhere else uh, okay this place sucks so far what is oh 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 it's him it's him i don't oh, like that oh Oh, help me. Help me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. I hate these guys. Let's get out of here. Wait, what? Go. 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 Oh, God. And the portal's broken. That's why I said go. Mouse, do not lag now. Dude, he straight up destroyed the portal. He can break obsidian? I'm taking random damage. Why he is he dying? He needs to die faster because he's... Oh my god, what is this thing? I can't attack him because of all the- Oh, dude. He destroyed the portal, like, eviscerated it. Yeah, why is there no top? <laughs> he is so unbalanced. I've never actually fought those guys. So after the catastrophe of dealing with that unbalanced spider, I went back to the original village and I made us a brand new nether portal there in the hopes that I would not have to deal with the same thing. All right, new nether portal. Built it. Beautiful. Let's go. Please let there not be any more of those spiders. I'm not dealing with that. Uh, oh, you guys. Hey, haven't dealt with piglins in a while. What's up, nerds? A chow. Yeah, this spawn also sucks. This day did not go anywhere near as planned. Ah, uh, no, there's a shooting spider. We need to go to the nether to find a new nether spawn. We need to find blazes. So with our new goal to go to the nether, we were having a great time because our server was totally working and not constantly kicking us out every time a spider decided he wanted to, as my server says, see God. But yeah, we finally did eventually get back in and we set off to find a new location for a nether portal so we could hopefully find a fortress to get us some of those juicy blaze rods. We really do need mending so that way we can actually keep all of our armor. If we can manage to get a full set of ruby armor, we will be set. But until then, we're kind of stuck with diamond, which is okay, but it breaks really quickly without mending. I don't know where would be a good spot to actually... Oh, I found a village and lag. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Another portal engaged. Please be the location. Oh, that's a bastion. Oh, that's... No. If I'm in a bastion now, that means that another fortress cannot spawn here. They, they spawn, like, based on, like, coordinates. This is, like, regular Minecraft, but a lot scarier. The crimson biome is full of hoglins and spiders. I'm gonna get a I bunch really of glowstone. I'm gonna dip. All right, I got a, a whole bunch. I got a stack in 16 of that. I'm getting out of here. This... Oh, this biome is making me anxious. There's like poison spiders nearby. There's like hoglins. This place is not it, fam. This place is not it. Ooh, another village that's in the void. My favorite. I love that. Aw, oh, dude, that village really is just in the void. That's just sad. So while my friends struggled to get the villagers to actually want to breed with each other, I continued building across deadly voids while complaining about my anxiety. Each time I went to a new nether portal location, it was doo-doo butter with no nether fortress to be seen. Things were going pretty slow. You know what? While I leave this place, I'm going to do what I love. Arson. Be free skeleton horses. Arson is the answer. Oh. Go You're away! Good, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They're gonna kill me! Oh. Why? A TNT trap got me. We need you to sleep. I have a theory, a game theory, you could say. The map, the inner map pat's coming out. Hey yo. I'm just gonna run. 
I'm just gonna run for it. See, the night has passed. Go seize the day. That's my goal. I'm gonna seize the day. All right, let's repeat the path. There's no big deal. I just gotta walk 1,300 meters. There's a couple of spots I parkour across, kind of. But I built my way across, so I can if I can follow my exact pattern, I'll be fine. So even though I said things were fine, things were obviously not fine. Because if my items despawned out there, in the abyss that is this wasteland of islands, I would lose my biggest, most important item that we had gotten thus far. I would lose my power of invisibility. The one thing that's been allowing us to actually get all the resources lately. Okay, so far, I, I've made it 300 meters. This is actually going kind of well. Luckily, I did not blow up from the TNT. So, whoop, that's going to hurt my legs. 60 meters away. If my stuff is gone, I will cry. And as Britney Spears once said, I will scream and shout. I really hope the uh, guys are not here, though. The silverfish. I, they don't appear to be here. Uh, where's my invisibility thing? Scarf of invisibility. Perfect. Okay, I'm back invisible again. What is that? Whoa! Oh, it's got pillager flags on it. Oh. It's definitely got pillagers in it. And if it's this big, it's probably got, like, evokers and stuff. I really want to check this place out. I'm just kind of scared to do so. Okay, there is a ton of villagers here. Right next to this place. That's really not safe. I have to see what's... Wait. I, I know what that noise is. Pillager Fortress. I just found a loot room that's like on the outskirts. There's just glass to get inside of it. There is so much gold. So we have a chest with a totem of undying inside. And 21 golden carrots. And two buckets of chocolate. Huh. Dude. I came out here looking for something entirely different, and I just found this masterpiece. Okay, there are Vindicators in here. <gasps> ah! Why? I'm out. I'm out. Teleporting home. I had the jump scares tonight, man. I'm jumping and everything. Oh my god. Okay. So, I got a waypoint. I, I named it F, F, FF again, really? I'm gonna go back there and place a nether portal again, but I gotta dump my inventory. I've got so much random crap on, like, in my inventory. Nothing bump me. Nothing bump me. Okay. Yeah, in retrospect, I'm taking this waystone and I'm moving it out of this place. This is not a safe place to have the waystone. Just so nothing can get us when we teleport here, I'm gonna put this in a house. I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna name it Pillager Mansion. No, actually, funnier name, Pillage Topia. Flint and steel time. Let's go. Come on, Nether Fortress. And just like that, I spawned directly in a Nether Fortress, and definitely not within a tiny. Dude, if you saw where I was right now, I can't. Even... I don't even have words for this. All right, I'm leaving this place. This sucks. This spot sucks. You know, actually, I just got us something really funny. You don't even have to actually. You spent all that time. Breeding villagers, right? Yeah. This village is full of villagers. You make it seem like all of my effort is pointless right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not entirely for no reason, just mostly. I need another uh, brewing stand. Um, I think you can just break that one and just give it to another villager, can't you? Oh. No, no. Only one can have the job. He's he'll automatically claim it. Unless I just kill him. Get get in the hole. Get in the hole. <laughs> okay, he's in the hole now. I got buckets of chocolate. Can I drown him with chocolate? What can I do with chocolate? Can I drink this? It looks- No, 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 get back down there. Get back down there. No, go back in the hole. I need to put something over top of him so he doesn't- Alright. I'm just gonna casually wait here by the chocolate until I hear drowning noises. I don't think you can drown in chocolate. He's not drowning. Aww. He's just rising from the pile of poop. Can I- <laughs> Okay, can I drink the chocolate? That's another question that I have. Burn! Burn! Oh yeah? You gonna go inside the house? I'll burn that down too, dog. Come on! You, you try to run away! Oh, what happened to him? He, he just plopped over! Oh no! Alright, who wants this job right. now? Fresh job! Fresh job! Who wants the job? <laughs> Last guy that had the job, he, he made... He was so successful that he... Moved away. All right, let's see. 
Let's see it. Ender pearls. Ender pearls. Yes, please. Yo, seriously? With ender pearls now acquired and a new cleric at our disposal, I teleported back towards our base to dump my inventory out. Before I came back to the area near the pillager outpost to find the next location to place a nether portal. All we needed now was a sweet, sweet nether fortress to give us some belaze rods. Yo, what's up, pillager nerds? Ooh, a black bed. That's cooler than a white bed. I'm taking that. Mine. It's all about style here. That is an infested pillager. <laughs> no, thank you. Ooh! Almost, almost double jumped off the cliff. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, there's a banner guy here, too. So if I kill him, I could start a raid. Can we do it? No. We are in no way prepared for a raid, you absolute mad lad. I'm officially done with all the distractions. I just want another fortress, man. After spending majority of this hour basically unsuccessfully finding a good spot for another portal, I just kept pushing on until finally I built a portal at this section of tents where I was hoping to finally find something on the other side. Tinker's workshop? Wait, what? Uh... Aine? Uh... What is this place? I'm so scared these guys are gonna, like, bonk me and mess my day up. Sandpaper? None of this stuff is useful for me. This place is like your local DMV. I'm just having a bad time. Get me out of here. I guess I'll just keep moving. And keep moving, I did. I kept on traveling further and further away from our once beloved home. Dude, I just found a flying ship. What do I describe it as? It's like one of those like balloons from like, like Attack on Titan. It's like, yeah. it's like the Marlian Empire's balloon, <laughs> like balloon ships. It's like one of those. Nope. A hasty That's spider. Searching. No, thank you. Oh! Dude, his hitbox is whack. There's like a whole set of like redstone like contraptions in here that I don't know what they do. I've just been breaking them because they make me very anxious after that last time I exploded. All right, I gotta leave this place. This ship sucks. All right, so for the meantime, I'm gonna use this house as a temporary base. I'm gonna place my waystone in here. Actually, where's a place where I can get obsidian consistently? Oh, wait, no, I can go back to uh, FF. FF is where there's tons of obsidian. I can just keep mining this wall of obsidian. And I guess, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. And that is exactly what I did. I sat here for probably 10 minutes or so struggling to mine the obsidian because there was lava behind it. Not only did I have to deal with the server lag and I had to deal with how slow it is just mining obsidian in general, I just wanted blaze rods. So at this point, here we were, day by day, I was grinding my way away at nether portals, trying to find the perfect one to bring me to that sweet, sweet fortress. But unfortunately, I just kept finding more bastions and other really irrelevant things that I did not need. While I was doing this, my friend was working away at those villagers, trying to get the coveted mending trade book. While doing that, he did manage to find Bane of Arthropods 4, and we did combine a couple of the books to make two Bane of Arthropods 5s that I did put on my ruby sword. So progress was being made, just not quite as fast as possible because it takes forever to travel across floating islands in the overworld. Almost like that's the reason we were trying to go to the end in the first place. Hmm. Or as villagers say, ah. Anyways, I continued at this for quite some time until finally... I had found what I was looking for. You found it? I found the stronghold! Let's go! That saves so much effort. This makes it okay. This makes it okay. Wait. So this is it, dude. Look at this beautiful place. Isn't this gorgeous? Holy. Yo. <laughs> I'm just it, looking it gets at better the too. It gets better. Banner. Oh my god, the chandelier. That's a nice you touch. You come over to this room over here. It is spider infested, but this is the main room. Oh, my pickaxe is about to break. Crap. Do you... Oh, this is a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Oh, no. Oh. There's like a broken nether portal already in here. It's like a loot so room. Scary. Dude, I didn't know this existed. It's nether portal time. Yeah, but I still have a pickaxe. All right, big portal. Watch this bee. 
No, just watch this be what we need. All right. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Going through. Okay. Nothing so far. It's a nice little dark room at the bottom of a pit of hell. Cool. Is there a fortress here? From what I can see on the map in comparison to my current height, no. There's no sign of any uh. fortress. After getting back from the nether, we continued exploring around this place in every single nook and cranny in search of the end portal. Because if this end portal only needed four more eyes of ender, then we had everything that we could need to go to the end. However, if it didn't, then we were still stuck back at square one trying to find a nether fortress. Anyways, after about 10 minutes or so of searching, we finally had found it. Look at how cool this room is. Oh, there's not a single one inside of it. Oh, dude, we got the absolute butt crack S butt crack RNG, dude. RNG Jesus. I have not prayed to you enough. Ironically, this was like right here. This is the first area that we went into <laughs> and it is right next to it. Oh, that or wait, sucks. did I go in here? Yeah, we did. This is, yeah. This here's me digging up. We were right next to it. So we just spent all that time looking for essentially no reason. But at this point, what it's looking like is we're probably going to find another portal to get the blaze rods, mm. go to the end to get better armor and elytras, finish our enchantments and then honestly we should take on this hell dungeon over here which it might be better off if i do that one with invisibility i don't know because this stuff in there's really strong we'll see and then we should take on the pillager outpost with the pillager castle those I'm could down. be like our final goals of like things to take down <laughs> so uh, i was looking through stuff and by looking through stuff i definitely did not just add this to the mod pack so that way i can find another fortress that's definitely not what i did Ooh. Jesus Christ. what the hell arson oh it doesn't have her house oh we have lightning rods we're good Thanks. all right so explorer's compass need a compass four cobwebs which are they spawn everywhere yet i haven't been taking them so that's great okay we dude we found so many cobwebs and i didn't take any of them because like it's just string with extra steps dude the amount of chests that i have opened that have had cobwebs in them that I did not take. Well, I didn't find what, what I was hoping to find, but uh, you're gonna be happy about this. So I found one diamond, cool, whatever. Woo, diamonds, we have tons of those. But I found aqua dashers, which allows you, oh, uh, it's not what I thought they were. I thought they were the fast oh. boots, but they're just the walk across water boots. Never mind. And, oh uh, yeah, cobwebs, cobwebs. We got five cobwebs, nice. so we're good. Explorer's compass. Boom. Bigger number, better person. There's a long list of things I can search with this. Oh, shoot. Yo. Wow. I made a grave mistake. I made a grave mistake. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You have been forsaken, young one. Okay, go yeah. to the ender. <gasps> oh, don't do that, game. Don't do that. When a server doesn't, like, load the chunks and you fall through the earth. Fortress. Start search. Aha. Okay. A fortress is 600 meters away. It makes me supremely anxious wandering around the nether with no armor like this. Just dodging spiders, scary nether people. No big deal. No big deal. I spent a pretty solid amount of time wandering through the nether, being as careful as I possibly could to not bump into any of the mobs because we may not be in hardcore mode, but without having any armor on at all, I was at risk of annihilation. Also on the nether, I found the sponsor of today's video, the FaZe Clan. You can buy their stocks for two cents. All right, nether fortress is no achievement located oh a blaze spawned over here we don't necessarily oh, sure. need a blaze spawner we just need blaze true if i smack this guy twice before he attacks me is that worth trying okay killed the first blaze there's a weird animation i don't even know how to explain so i got i got the 12 eyes vendor and we're good to go to the portal we do want to get two bows first so now that the plan was all coming together the one last thing we had to do before going to the end was prepare our bows 
So, at the end of this day, and with all of this lag because it was raining in-game, I set out to the nearby area by our house to slay some spiders. The days were finally numbered that I was going to keep being invisible. That is until we go to the end, because then I don't have to deal with shulkers. Big brain. But anyways, by the time I came back inside, I had 19 levels, and I put together the books before adding them to my bow. And after putting the books together, I found myself needing another 14 levels for that sweet infinity unbreaking 3 power 4 punch 2 bow. So, once again, I was back outside, and before you knew it, the bow was finished, and we were just about ready to go to the end. I've got no levels, I'm poor now. In between the rain and the spiders, it's, uh, not looking so good outside. All right, it is time. Bing, 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 bong, bing, 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 bong, boom. Oh, are we going to Chinatown? It looks gorgeous, by the way, with, uh, shaders. All right, let's do this. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, no. Wait, what? There's a lot of end spiders, dude. I don't know how much damage they do. I'm glad we prepped. Uh, oh, they're fast. By water, or no? water does stop them. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. You don't want to use fire on them, by the way. Then it makes them teleport a lot. They're like a regular Enderman like that. Dude, I get so much XP now. Oh, man. They suck. They do a lot of damage. Yeah. Good thing I placed down the water. <laughs> I'm going to eat uh. some golden apple. Wait, 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 wait. Is this? What is this? Huh. What is that? I can't even. I, I can't. Get out of here. What is this? What is enderite? Oh. Holds the power of the end. Enderite? Dude, there's so many of them. Kind of problematic. They... Yeah. I didn't oh. think there'd be this many of them, man. The dragon perched? What? I'm All just right. gonna shoot the um. Yeah, let's get, let's right get rid of the things. Ah! It's no. hard to do that. It's really difficult. Dude, they hurt. I'm close to dying. Holy crap. Doesn't help. The dragon shot its magic in my water source. I don't even have. I. I don't. I can't even stop to think. Dude, this is rough, man. This is rough. All right, I'm doing this from the safety of up here. Way better. A little bit of server lag on the arrows. Love to see it. All right, got another one. That one's gone. That one's gone. Ow. I'm getting one of them that has the metal cage around it. I don't appreciate the dragon magic. Why is it like this, man? Well, there's definitely a challenge here. Hitting Elytris is gonna suck. Yeah. I didn't think the ender spiders were going to be spawning this much, to be fair. I think I kind of messed that up a little bit. Jesus Christ, man. I'm telling you, just don't get killed by them. That's all you got to do. They're scared of water. What are you, you going to do against something that's scared of... Oh. We're good, we're good, you, we're you good. You didn't need to be up here, you know that. I would not stand... No. Why would you do that? Don't worry about it, we're good. I was gonna get it from a spot that wasn't gonna get you killed. Oh. Um, I mean, I have the thing that prevents knockback anyway, so oh, we're good. Let's just cut this. Okay. It's almost... I'm gonna go chill waiting for damage. I'm just gonna put water in there. Oh, God. The water does not help. Can you go away? This is not a good spot. The dragon shoots us. Get out. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Great. Uh, is the dragon getting hit but not taking damage for you as well? Um, I'm not able to hit the dragon right now, so 
not yet. The dragon's not taking damage from my shots. Oh, I see some damage. Dragon, come down here. What are you doing? So we got one of the worst ones where it's really difficult to actually make contact with the dragon in there because of uh, the environment nearby. I don't know why the dragon is this beefy, but these are power four bow shots. They should be like demolishing it. The dragon was taking next to no damage from our bows. No clue why, by the way. We had power four and power three. The dragon was like buffed by some, some one, of, one of the mods made the dragon stronger or something. And what made it even worse, all of the spiders that were spawning were ender spiders. And they did so much damage. Even though we had improved armor with better enchantments, they got us very weak a lot. So at the end, we ended up just kind of sitting up top and shooting away until we could finally take her down. You got it? Let's nice. go. That took way more time than reasonably. Uh, there's an ore spawning in the ground now? What? These ores started spawning in the ground now. What are these? They spawned after we killed the dragon. That's kind of cool. Uh, what is this? Biotite? Biotite? What? I don't know. I just I watched it from above. It all spawned. Honestly, it might not be worth getting an elytra if there's this many spiders in the end. I need blocks, but I don't want to stop for any second. The spiders are going to bump into me and kill me again. I have 82, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. I have 82 levels, so... Oh, 82. Damn, I okay. don't know where my spawn is set, so for now, I'm just going to place a waystone. Call this the end, and I'm teleporting back home. So I'm going to be honest here. I wanted to get the elytras to go to the end city, but I'm thinking now we should not. Because one, we just wasted like a half hour fighting that dragon and preparing. Yeah. And we've only got an hour left. And I want to go kill the uh, the pillager outpost. Oh, this spider has a buff. Give me that. Thank you, regeneration. What a nice guy. There's not going to be that many spiders oh, in here. Okay. Actually, no, this is because he's dumb. Okay, he's gonna immediately really start spawning back because they. Oh, you guys are trapped! Wait, he used, he used a totem. Dude, there's a lot of there's a lot of vex in oh, here. Oh god! Dude, they're trapped. They're stuck on the tables. They're trapped. There's another evoker somewhere. Where is he? All right, let's clean up the rest of the random spiders up here. What does this say? Do not hit this lever. I'm gonna actually not hit that for now. Don't, please don't. Please don't. There's a hopper. I'm gonna. Is there anything inside the hopper? No. These guys have swords and crossbows. It's kind of cool looking. They're dual wielding, man. They're not doing a very good job of it. Oh, found. I found the other evoker. Nice. It's kind of cool that they use the totems in this. Let's go. Second totem. I'm gonna be honest. This place kind of reminds me of those, uh, those places from better Minecraft, except just weaker, like a lot weaker. There were like 20 or so evokers in those places sometimes. Dude, there's so many spiders. Why are there so many spiders in here? I can't even hit them. There's so many. Their hitboxes are kind of crazy. Yeah, the light's not helping with hitting them right now. No, oh my not, God. not at all. Okay, you got rid of that. Oh, you got rid of the last, last two evokers. Good. Yep. Yo, gold. You see the chests too. Wait, what? Whoa. Let me see. Let me see. Dude, oh, there's yo. 64 emeralds in there. A they were all scattered it. everywhere. Damn. Okay. Two more totems of undying, and 36 bottles of enchanting. Why are so many spiders actually spawning in here? This is kind of absurd. I didn't expect there to be this many spiders in here. I can't even consistently get crits on enemies because of the lag. I think it's safe to say we've conquered this, but there's a couple more spots I want to check out. There's some chests in the training area too. Oh, that one. 
Uh, that's the one that, uh, wait, was it the one that had the interesting spider? Oh yeah, that was the one that had the Whoa. interesting spider. Yeah. You didn't yeah. say ultimate spider. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. You need to come down here and kill stuff. Watch your health. If you if you notice any sudden like damage spike, get out. Gotcha. And heal. I ate a golden apple. This fat guy's gotta go. I'm not doing a lot of damage to this guy. No. They've got really tanky health. Right, I'm eating a golden apple because that damage potion hurts. Dude, he's taking no damage! What is this fight? I don't know, And he keeps man. giving me- he's got so many abilities- Dude, he's adaptable, arctic, molting, molten, and desecrating. This is ridiculous, yeah. this is- <laughs> When he stops hitting me with the debuff, like, slowness and all that stuff, I do a lot more damage to him, too. I'm doing four right now. Finally! Jesus. I think, uh, I think we're good now. Oh, okay, there's a lot of spiders still in here. I was gonna say we can go home, dump our loot, and then go do the, the hell dungeon next. As our final stand against this world. We've officially been here long enough that super dangerous spiders, like legendaries and masters, started spawning, so... I see the ravager you were talking about. How did he get on fire? I think a spider burned oh. him. No, that was me. I'm on the other side of the cage. Dude. There's too many spiders. The local difficulty's gotten too high. There's just never-ending spiders. The world's gone too far. Alright. I think it's time we hit the old dusty trail and move on to the next dungeon before we have conquered this world. Going back home, leaving you in Whatever the dirt. Else. By the time we had finally looted everything, we came out of there with an unreal amount of resources. My room is so hot that I have sweaty toes. The final place, Hell Dungeon 2. You've seen me loot it before, but I didn't kill anything. Now we're... I don't know how this is going to go. These guys can be really strong. I know that. Oh god, the spiders are actually going to attack me now. I can't, like... Do this in peace like I used to. Lava! Alright, here's the enemies that we get to fight. I don't even see where you are. I don't know how much damage the guys with the sword do, so be very careful. Oh, they have a lot of health! No, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Go? This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I forgot that they have, like, insane amounts of health. Oh, there's no way. The sentry guys that run at you have 80 health apiece. What? No. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Nope, he just almost one-shot me! Nope! I, I can't get out. I can't get out, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where are you? Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh no, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. We were over... We were over our time limit anyway. Yee! <laughs> There's no way I'm getting out of here alive. Oh my god, that's a giant magma. Yeah, that, that giant magma will pretty much one-shot you. Oh my god, I see what you mean. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, man. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. I dug myself into the wall. Okay, leaving now. Leaving. Honestly, it's okay. We conquered, you know, we conquered the one place. It's pretty much definitely been the, the 24th hour anyways. We're kind of going into overtime. I feel like maybe, maybe this just, this wasn't, this wasn't meant to be. I don't know how to get out of here. I just want to go home, man. I think we've conquered enough here. You know, I think this is a, a good enough success for me. I made it up yeah. to the surface. Oh, there's so many spiders, dude. Come on, man. I just want to go home. Uh, this is painful. Yeah? Painful? Uh, 
Uh, no, no, no. Uh, how much fun did you have? I really want to die, man. Please. 48 hours it is. No! 